Hey everybody, it's Jojo, the creator of The Roles We Made. Um, this episode isn't going to have a middle break because this is the last episode of our first arc. Um, all the questions are answered and the podcast is over. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. No, this is just the end of the very first arc. If you want to hear the whole thing in totality to see how it got to this point, go ahead and listen to the first episode because I know I did and I'm like, wow. This got out of hand really quickly what I was trying to achieve. I'm learning as I go. I'm hoping that the next arcs are going to be better. If you really like the show, please give us a positive review on iTunes. It really does help, um, as well as any of the podcasting apps you might be listening to. We are on all of them. As far as I know, if you can get a podcast on it, you can probably get us on there. Um, tell your friends about it. If you want to get in contact with the show, you can use the hashtag roles were made. The next episode, which is going to be our patch day, comes out on uh, Friday, May 15th. Wow, May is just clipping along. That's awesome. And I think that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys uh, next week. And I really hope you enjoy this final episode of this first arc. Thank you. Previously on the rolls we made. Where do you want to try to find Dell? Um, that I might know were her locker is or at least who one of her friends are what do you want hemlock if you saw a person appeared in front of you in a ghost-like form and she pulls out a little green pin and she presses a button there is a spectral figure of doan they're little recording devices he made one of these for me and some of the other people that were important to him you guys go to close oh hey you guys y'all y'all psyched up ready to go or do you need a quick montage <laughs> i could go for a little montage, montage. Hey. what's the biggest threat and you see in the kitchen area a small black velvet satchel the party starts to get underway and down the hallway you see gil fuck Thank you so much for coming to the Reds' first annual Autumn House Party. And you realize that that speech, it was a spell to inspire party. It's a mosh pit. It's basically a mosh we pit. We can't body surf this shit. You cast Tasha's. The Red with the eye patch walks into the center and she's like, who stopped the music? Oh, I see. Do you? Because you only got one eye. She has two eyes. Oh, fuck. God oh. damn it. She reaches at her waist and pulls out two short swords. Oh. These are the ones. Let's get them. It's going to be a dance-off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Can it be a dance-off? <laughs> That's the no. Ninja Turtles no. 2 at the end. Uh, oh. and, and with that, let's uh, let's do some initiative. How about that? All, All right. right. We've yeah. barely done any initiative. Ugh. It's under my phone. I can't see it. 12. 9. 5. I know what I'm going to kick it off mm. with. Make them laugh. I've been thinking about this all <laughs> fucking day. <laughs> Yeah, I've got I've got the exact same tools at my disposal that I had at the beginning of this arc. <laughs> well, no, now you can one. do sneak attacks. Yeah. I can do sneak attacks in this party environment. <laughs> it's e great. Yep, that's pretty great. Poof. I will do the running really? man until they like me as a person. I'll do the Roger Rabbit. Yeah, you do Roger Rabbit. I'll do the running man. Emma, what dance? I'm gonna just do jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Starting off the fight is going to be one of the Reds uh, who has uh, leapt out of the crowd. He has a mace in one hand. He raises it up and takes a big old swing at everybody's favorite, probably a warlock, but no one knows for sure, Salt. <gasps> I heard she's a warlock. I've heard that too. Uh, he misses by a country mile. Uh, so <laughs> it was not. You knew who the most aggro one of us was by instinct and went <laughs> after them. Yeah, he, he goes up and, and throws a swing and his uh, his mace hits against the wall. And as that also happens, the 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 red, the woman who is a red, um, who I'm woman going to. Red? I'm going to say her name is Naylor because that is her name. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that you know that that's her name, but oh, for, on know? my clarity. Yes. Let's say she has a little name tag that says, says, Hi, Hi my I'm name Naylor. is Naylor. I hope you're enjoying the party. <laughs> she goes up to Ren, having recognized that you were most likely responsible for fucking up the sweet jams. She was like, my song was up next on the, on the, on the, the request. Okay, so she slashes at you two times with her 
with her long sword. She gives like one slash and then another. You're able to dodge the first one, but the second one gets you in the arm. How uh, much? It does. What are we talking here? You're playing arm. It gets you for two damage. Okay, so I'm at. So it's a bit of a scrape. A bit, bit of, of a scrape. scrape. Yeah. I mean, it's affecting. And now it is your turn, Ren. My turn? Yeah, you've been struck. I have a question, DM, uh-huh. <laughs> about bardic inspiration. Very well. Does it buff us or is it like what? So you have a pool of dice okay. called bardic inspiration that are right now you have three D6s. Okay. You can, every time you have a long rest, they reset to three. Okay. Now, when you want to use a bardic inspiration... You just say, I'm going to give a bardic inspiration to someone. You can do it any time okay. in the middle of their roll. If they roll and they fail, you can say, well, how about if you have a okay, bardic okay, inspiration? Okay. It doesn't affect damage. It just affects rolls. And it's just added to whatever the roll is. So, okay. And you only have the three, but you can use them effectively have whenever I you used want. Any you, I, as far as I know, you haven't used any not today. This not in this Not in this not adventure. Not in this day. No. Okay. I'm going to go after the dual swords yeah. with my rapier. Fuck her up. Yeah. Uh, Nate. So Nate. go ahead and roll a d20 to try to hit Naylor. Geeter. 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 13. That is going to be a hit. So you nice. do a kidney shot. What's your What's your plus to damage? Punch her in the butt. Plus to damage. Where is that? Why am I terrible? <laughs> <laughs> where is the it's like in the middle where it shows your weapons um i just have a oh, plus three piercing oh, okay so you um after you get slashed in the arm uh you kind of <sighs> you kind of do a repast where you Ooh, you yeah. block the strike it like hits your arm and then you immediately follow up with a with a poke and a nailer for oh. 10 points wow of damage. Oh, I'm clapping for myself. Is this Claire's? Because oh, someone just on, got pierced. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That was some. That was. I really wish Ren had said that when she said. When she I did. did the okay. <laughs> I'm <me>. taking that. <laughs> That's me. going in my tight five. <laughs> Gets you get tag. you get Nailer in the shoulder. Um, she's she yelps in pain and and steps backwards. Arroo. And while that happens, Salt, it is now. Your turn. Oh, Salt, what would you like to do? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have um, Lady in Red. Lady in Red, and you have two other Reds. And two other dipshits. Okay. We probably have less HP. We got to take care of the trash mobs. Ah. They are definitely not as big a threat. Yeah, so um, I, 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 know, I know a um, competition for bitchhood when I turn British. Um I know a competition for a bitch when I see one. I'm the only one here. What? (laughs) (laughs) Don't worry about it. I'm having a conversation with myself. Cool. (laughs) How would would you like to battle? (laughs) (laughs) Eldritch Blast at uh, Lady in Red, please. Uh, very well. And then when you hit, then then you should do that again. Yeah. Do your do your do your. Yeah. Talk. You gotta say the dope shit when you land the hit because <laughs> oh. if you miss, it's just weird. Uh, Twelve. Okay, that's a hit. Yeah. Um. So that's now a d- say it again. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one d ten. All right. Um. You hit her for nine damage. Wow. Oh yeah. Dang. She's already got 19 damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage as we say in the Dungeons and Dragons oh, industry. What's her HP? What's I her hit points? Is she, right now, she's almost bloodied. Mm, okay. Um, I can tell you that much. She would be like, like if you were to highlight over her, it would say Yikes. injured. Okay. <laughs> say, cool. yeah. um, whereas a high, before, when you hit her, it was just like Hurt now it's injured okay, a little higher. Cool. Look um, at us. Yeah, you empowered females hemlock. I'm gonna fall on my own sword. It's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so, so please like me. Just though. like a man. So as as Ren um, stabs Nailer, uh, 
Uh, this also so, this party got really intense all of a sudden. Yeah, it like, sure did. Well, a fight broke out. <laughs> all the it's little turned. tweens um, still so, around, just like fuck. Like, what the <laughs> hell is happening? So in the so after uh, Naylor got stabbed backward, um, you were basically there with a quickness and like yeah. like a perfect alley oop, just blasted her in the face with a bolt oh. of eldritch power Boom that that face. hit her r- real bad. Um, I, I, should I keep talking to myself while I'm... You, you very well may. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I'll monologue over here. You go ahead. She's still standing, but she's she's not doing so... Ho- she's not happy. Um, it is now the turn of one of the Reds who has leapt out of the crowd. Oh, no. And uh, seeing the third person in a goofy out, outfit, Hemlock, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, makes, a, <laughs> makes a big swing with his club at Hemlock. Oh, gosh. A club? What the hell? Why the hell? I missed. It was bad. <laughs> he basically like like these he's, red shirts. He, suck. he no. all right, literally. Somebody he goes up blanket. and he tries to make a big old swing, and you do that thing like in an in an adventure movie where you just duck down way too early, and but he doesn't adjust and he misses, and now it is your turn. Sweet. Did I do the splits? Is that how he missed me? Yeah. That'd be great. Let's say you did the splits. Yes. Now now you're ready Impressive. to pop back up. But, but you so did what, would like, you, what would you like to do? You did like drag ball splits, so you like. Like went back, you know. Oh dang, yeah. Is it yeah. dry oh ball splits? Yeah, dry ball. was like, "Woo, that was dry cool." <laughs> dry ball splits. Dry ball splits. Yeah, because <laughs> they dry balls. They're dry now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so I, I have say. a quick question: Are we like, if we, if we defeat like Naylor, like if I take her down to zero HP, am I murdering her, or are we just can we just like? Knock him out. Motherfucker came at us yeah, with don't, knives. Don't worry about that. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna go after <laughs> go after the Queen Bee. Okay. Um now Kill is her. It, well, because I already got attacked. Can I disengage and then go behind and sneak attack her? Uh, I, like, can I stay on the ground and roll <laughs> roll like a barrel toward her and get behind her? Let me find out actually. Because oh, uh gosh, the, JoJo whipped out the hand. I know. Very rarely do I have to get the yeah. book. My but. bonus action is cunning action. I can dash, disengage, or hide. So I could disengage and then sneak attack her. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information. Like a vanish? Um, yeah. Yeah, like, pretty much. Like a smoke, uh, okay. bomb. smoke bomb. Yeah. I <laughs> I hide behind the fog machine. I just <laughs> melded to the ground, like, like into the crowd, like Homer in like the bushes. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, just vanish. I mean, all of us look the same. We're all kids. You have sneak attack. You've had that since first level. You can deal one d six to a creature you hit if you if you hit with an attack if you have advantage on the attack roll. So if you're hidden in some way, coming action starting at second level, you can take a bonus action where you can dash, which is move double your speed. <laughs> Disengage where you move away from someone without triggering a an attack of opportunity that's my or, mo in real life or hide <laughs> where you basically like you just sort of vanish i i, I get real low on the ground yeah super, super low on the ground <laughs> so if i hide can i then sneak attack her or do i have to do i have to place myself behind her already I'm not sure exactly what hide means in this yeah. context, but yeah, I would say like... Because what's the point of being a rogue if like I'm just going to hit things and I can't use that to my advantage in a battle? Uh, yeah, I mean, right you, didn't, you don't have a shit else for like perks. So. Yeah, I have no perks <laughs> unless I have... Yeah, yeah I'll, we know. I'll, 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 <laughs> no. I'll say that you're, you, you can hide or you can disengage. Okay. Uh, or you can dash. You can do your cunning action, but like um, if you... So here's the thing. If you... Step away from this red to get to Nailer. Uh-huh. You will trigger an attack of opportunity unless you disengage, but then you can just stand behind Nailer from where she is. Okay, so I can disengage, get behind her, and then, and then you and then you would have like you would be flanking her, which I think gives you advantage. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, so let's let's say you did that. Let's let me do just that. let me just double check because <laughs> <laughs> I don't typically have to do this. How many episodes are we in that now the book comes out? We've been well. This is well. Now I have to like really think about like what's happening because uh, you guys are gonna kill my favorite monsters and stuff. Oh no! I know. Favorite. I know. I thought Danielle was your favorite monster. Okay, so. So here's, I will let you, you won't have advantage if, unless you're hidden. Okay. So I guess there's no, cause she'll still know you're there. It's not completely like by surprise. Okay. Well then I'm just going to, I know you you can definitely get to her without any kind of limits. Okay. Well, just because I feel bad that you did all of that work that was cut out with, no, don't feel bad. So without any benefit, um, I will, I will kill him. (laughs) 
He's not in the game, Daniel. Yeah. yeah. Well, he is every character technically, and yes, every I monster. Am. Yes. Um, <laughs> I want to do a. I'll, I'll 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 disengage. I'll get to her, and then I'll do a little bit of the the rip rape here. Okay. Uh, roll a d20 to Be hit her. Careful how you phrase that. I, I <laughs> do a little bit of the that weapon is a, is a landmine. Let's just be completely clear. It's an audio landmine. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. Okay. So that's a hit. Uh, it roll. is one d8 plus three piercing. Ooh. Okay. Oh God. So here's what happens. Oh, <laughs> buckle up, Hamlet. So um, <laughs> you get her again. Mm-hmm. Um, this this next poke is pretty intense. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Ladies, well, ladies. Yeah. happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you you raise up. You you get behind her. You like strike with the rapier, and it gets her like from like her um like near where her kidney is. Oh, like oh, fuck. It, it kidney fle- shot. It, I mean, it flexes on her armor that she's wearing, but you can tell like this really hurt. Okay. Um, uh, because she yelps in pain. Ow. <laughs> just like that. And once she does, she she kind of like like steps away from the from the from the three of you having like attacked her so much. Yeah, what well, yeah, you think was going to happen? <laughs> the other two guys are And just she's just kind of like right? she's kind of like, like assessing her options because this is a surprise. Like yeah. she didn't think like, "Oh shit, like these three know how to fight." Uh, we do that thing where we like, you know that meme where the guy is pointing to his head like, yep. yeah, mm, we're doing that. While you're doing it. that, uh <laughs> we're just the first the first red with the club comes up to you, Hemlock. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Take a hint. Yeah, uh, well, he's trying. <laughs> um, your armor is 14, isn't it? My armor is... Oh, I might look at my phone. Yeah, my armor is 14. Okay, well, he misses you. Woohoo! Damn. He really tried to get you. Um, <laughs> they need to train up. Yeah. But yeah. while that happens, Naylor, who is now recovered from her strike, takes her two long swords and uh, brings them together like she puts them hilt to hilt. Cool. And then they lock into place with some kind of gear mechanism. Oh, shit. Oh, and they Darth turn Maul. into, they basically turn into a glaive. It is Darth oh, Maul. Yeah. It is Darth Maul. Um, she, she twists it in her hand and then she uh, whips it. And then it starts to fly through the air and oh, it's dang. giving off this humming noise. Uh-oh. Is this boomerang um, us? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, oh, and it's going like to go this. for... Um, it's gonna go for Ren. Everyone loves a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Do oh, the it, limbo quick! It hits you. Oh, oh shit! Dog. It hits you for four damage. So I'm at, I'm at eighteen. So I'm at six. Wait, fourteen now. Yep. Uh, it's going to go for salt. It misses salt. Um, just kind of swipes past you as the as blood splashes on you from Ren's injury, Jesus. Hi, which I you got know she'll star. talk to you about. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. And then it also swipes by Hemlock as well, yeah. um, but doesn't hit you. And then it the reaches back to her hand, and then she uh, holds it in place and is like takes a step back away from you. So she's actually a little bit further back. The party is like spreading out because they're like, "That was pretty pretty chill." Um, <laughs> Some of the kids are like, "I don't want to die tonight." Uh, Ren, it is party. now <laughs> it is now your turn. It's my turn yes. now. There's somebody at this house party who's like, "This is so great! It's a party!" It's also my birthday today and now they're just like fuck well. <laughs> I'm gonna just go after her again with my rapier again okay uh, when you if you try to go past her to get her you're going to trigger an opportunity attack against the red oh you can do that it's fine it's just he'll get a free shot on you <sighs> I don't want I don't want to take any more damage I have a I have a bow and arrow so I have a ranged attack just to okay FYI. okay so I'm gonna go after one of the reds that's uh you want to just go one of the the closer one yeah I'll go okay and I think so salt has range too yeah right? ma- yeah salt is mostly ranged <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm pretty much all range <laughs> I don't really like getting close to people there little salt's better. got a lot of range <laughs> six Okay. Plus, so well, what, nine, good that happened. Uh, three. Yeah, you you. Well, it would be eleven, but you. Oh, whoops. Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't connect with this guy. Oh, um, okay. You you basically kind of trade blows, like you're you're trying to to get him with with the rapier, and he just keeps like parrying you with his club. It looks oh pretty God. cool, but you're not <laughs> not a lot of progress is being Dang made. It, I need to whip out the songs. Uh, <laughs> you can you can throw bardic inspiration in there if you wanted. Oh to. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll a d6 to see if you can boost oh, this to a 13. Oh my god, edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's it's thing. like the D&D podcast equivalent of just like, that was off the record. Right. That was off the record. Yeah, so. 
Which one's the decent? The, the, the standard, dice. the, the, yeah. the cube, <laughs> the basic ass dice. Edit all this out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> one. Oh. Oh, oh, no. So uh, your grand total was a 12? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> you give yourself a pep talk as you're swinging, like, you can do this, Rand, and it doesn't, it doesn't get oh. work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you have one, you have spent one of your bardic inspiration, Charlie. Oh, no, just, yeah. That was the one number you couldn't have gotten yeah. for that to be a success. Uh, Ow. Uh, Everything yeah. after is going to be a super Salt. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It is now your turn. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, then, so, uh, it's, is Lady still closest to me? No, she has. She has basically stepped out of the fray and is holding that that glaive. And oh, if you want to okay. get, to, if you want to get to her physically, you would have to like walk past one of the reds. You can try to shoot her. Right, right. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> just because it's funny, I'm going to cast infestation on her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, bring okay. it back. Yeah. Bring it back, old school. You know what parties hate? Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> they do hate that. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, she beats that. Oh, oh, fuck off. Yeah, does anything happen on a, on a resist? I don't think so. No. Okay, so she just kind of like, she tells that you tried to cast a spell on her, and she was like, really? Bitch. She's all the fuck, bro. Yeah. I'm, what she, I'm what they call a boss character. Anyway. Don't fucking come uh, at me. All right. Fuck the please. other red uh, takes a swing at uh, Hemlock. Oh, Why? <laughs> Misses? What? Well, because you did the splits on him and he felt like he got dunked on. Yeah, well, so no, he's he's got, <laughs> he's got dunked on again. How does that make him feel? He does not feel good. You do the splits again and he's like, dang it. I'm doing the eye thing, the look at my eye, look at your eyes thing to all of them right now. I'm just like, come on, motherfucker. As you do the splits. Yeah, as I'm doing do the splits. splits. Yeah. Yeah. With, yeah. With my fingers yeah. and with my legs. Go, yeah. All right, Hemlock, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to, um, I'm going to shoot my short bow uh, at, uh, Darth Maul back there. Okay. <laughs> That's a 14. That oh. is a hit. And it is uh, 1d6 plus 3. Okay. You hit her for 5 damage. So you shoot an arrow at her. Um, using her, her glaive, she's able to kind of like break the arrow before it like gets deep in her meat, but it, it gets pretty close. Deep Whoa, deep in uh, meat. I'm like, oh, that was my meatiest arrow. She's like, ah! That was my deepest, meatiest. My deepest, all right. Meatiest. It goes back to top of the order. The first red makes another strike. At who? Well, it doesn't matter. He critically missed. Good. Oh, oh I like fucking die. shits himself as Basically, yeah. he was trying to swing at you, Ren, and he was made a big old s strike, and you just like did the par you, you parried him at the last second yeah. while doing the splits. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's our team's thing now. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all splits doers. So but we there don't you know go. if we can get salty to do it. Um, uh, um, so he's, he, type. he, he misses, he misses really badly and leaves himself like wide, wide open. open. Yeah. Oh, can can I I counter? You can on your turn because oh, yeah, now it is right. Naylor's turn. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, she's going to uh, throw her glaive again. Oh god. This isn't safe. There are children here. Uh, is the crowd egging us on? Like, do they like that we're fight, winning kind fight, of? Yeah, fight, they're basically fight, saying fight, fight, fight. Sweet. Like they don't really care who and wins. And they're like, um, bleed, bleed, bleed. So the only please. the only weirdly enough, the only person she hits was it, Red One, who ha! Me? Because no, because he was blocking and oh. he got screwed up because he, he critically failed. He was open for an attack. Oh, <laughs> what a gypsy! She's just throwing this yeah, thing yeah, and yeah, like yeah. bringing it back. Um, so it <laughs> hit him for <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> He's like, Gang. oh no, <laughs> I'm on your team, guys. What it's the fuck? Mistake. Team kill. Thank you. So he yeah. got hit for uh, six damage as like the handle wow. of the glaive brained him. He was like, <laughs> ow. And so, uh, and it then it goes, it ends back up. And she catches the glaive again, and now it goes to Ren. Thank it's your turn. So, am I clear to go for? To Lady in Red? Uh, or no, you'll still, you'll still trigger an opportunity attack, but now it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to go for the other Red, or whichever one's closest to me. Okay, so that would be the Red who just got hit with the Glaive. <laughs> um, roll to hit. Yeah. Uh, 
Nine. Okay, that's a hit. Yeah. Uh, he is a nerd. Yeah. The dork. So um, <laughs> after he gets hit with the glaive, you pop back up from the splits, I guess. <laughs> you guys. I, you I guys, forgot I held like, it that yeah. long. Or effortless where you're just like. Whoop. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And you guys trade blows again, but you get, manage to get the upper hand. You flip. Uh, you you get him in the wrist. He oh. drops his uh, his club. club. And then you just like. Get him with the hilt, and he is down. Yeah! Wow! Yeah, give him some that of that, some of that day. sweet chin music, because that's all bards know. <laughs> like that nice sound he effect that comes. Like a yeah. Uh, it is now Salt's turn. Okay. Do the splits first. Use your turn to do the splits. Never. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're not gonna get her. Not yet. No. She's not really a dexterous character, so she would have to roll to succeed at the splits. <laughs> I spray oil on the ground around her feet. How the fuck dare? <laughs> <laughs> I hire people to do the splits for me. Very well. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, did I get hit? No, you haven't been hurt yet. Yeah, only Rin's been hit. Oh, <laughs> I've been trying to hurt started. all of you. Let me be clear. Yeah. I'm like, like the- Naylor literally is attacking all three of you every turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll go back to the old Eldritch Blast. Okay, uh, roll the hit. You know what, uh, Naylor, kind of in my head, I'm picturing like uh, General Grievous a little bit. Oh. Yeah. So that is a hit. Uh, all right. You hit her. Um, you, you fire the Eldritch Blast at her. Um, as it gets close, she uses the glaive to sort of try to parry it. Um, she still takes two points of damage. Oh. Um, but it looks pretty cool because she like the, the bolt like gets closer it. and she like flings it. And when it hits her glaive, it like flings up to the ceiling. Is her glaive like hot from like the like, Ooh, yeah. burning? Is it cool like, burning. red yeah. now? Yeah. I mean, no. Oh. It's just, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's made out of this like kind of a, a golden Valerian silvery. Steel. Yeah, it's like a, it was like a gold shit. silver type metal. Like oh. it looks kind of like a pale gold. Oh, sick. Um, and now it, take it from her afterwards. Fool's gold. <laughs> uh, it is now the turn of the other red. Oh, um, gosh. Also, these guys are wimps. So they're well, they have like 10 HP. It seems I yep. took one down while doing the split. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, the one that um, was still around who just saw you attack uh, Naylor tries to step to you. Uh, Save the last dance. Salt <laughs> and uh, gets you for. Ooh, six damage. Oh, Ooh, shit. Basically, you fire the bolts at Naylor. She blocks it. You're very surprised, and that gives him a chance to kind of get you in the side with the club. Bitch. And it, and you f- you literally feel a bruise forming as it hits. <gasps> it's that much of a you hit. You know, it could have saved you from that. Oh, this Geico. Okay. Doing the splits. Uh, <laughs> Hemlock, it is now your turn. Um. So how is Naylor looking? She is... Critical? No, she's, Damn. she's a, she's a, well, yeah, I guess it would say she's bloodied and she's like on the road, badly injured. I would say Ooh, mm-hmm. she's on breathing the heavily. On the yeah. Ropes. Well, I, I'm, I think our ranged folks should keep ranging it. So I'm going to do another, um, splits and then <laughs> to, just to do it, just to do it. And then I'm going to shoot my, my, my bow and arrow at, at, uh, at Naylor. Okay. Roll to hit. Oh, it? Oh. Uh, oh, I have a crossbow. So oh, no. you fire another arrow at Naylor, and this one, she she again tries to parry with her glaive, but th- this shot was much better. There was a lot more force behind it. Oh, 20 Jonesy. points of force. She was yeah. not able to. It gets her pretty good in the leg, yeah. and it does uh, 12 points. Wow. Whoa. So now she would, if if you were to mouse over her, it would be like almost down. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> but with that, she fires off the glaive once again. Oh, no. Am I still in the splits? <laughs> <laughs> He's all no. Just one person standing normally and two people in the splits <laughs> in the middle of this. Um, so she flings the glaive line. again. It hits Hemlock. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, My splits. <laughs> oh, no. It hits you for four damage. Oh, Ooh, it hits bad. Salt Uh-oh. for six damage. Oh, come on. Uh, and it, 
it just misses oh, you. Oh, thank God. Um, but yeah, you guys got got hit pretty bad because then she she catches the glaive again and she's kind of like gasping for air. Uh, you should sit down. It is now Ren's turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Yes. Oh, you know what you gotta do. I'm gonna yeah. go for it. Yeah. But then I leave my. Am I gonna leave myself open again? Uh, yes. I don't remember. You can take the risk. But I'm gonna take the risk. Do you okay. Have, you don't have arranged anything. Like, no. Oh, dang. Can you throw your loot? Yeah, I'm all. <laughs> 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 okay, so <laughs> roll the hit. I hate oh, to no. say it, oh, but no. um, no. as you run to go get Nailer, no. the the other red manages to get a really really good hit on you from the back as you're running. Oh, so I'm God. dead. Um, I'm at he four. gets you for seven damage. Holy so now I'm at seven. <laughs> yeah. He he basically as you were moving towards Nailer, he gets you really bad, like in the shoulder, and you hear you hear a, a bone adjust okay. in there. It, it adjusts back real fast, but this wave of pain radiates Do through I your have whole any body. Potion. <laughs> uh, can I pot? I think Control you have something. You have something like that, but we'll we'll get to that in a second. Um you are now though in range of Nailer. Oh, okay. So yeah. now I don't have to worry again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you still got to roll the hitter, unfortunately. Oh, right now? Yes. yes. Now okay. now it's still your turn. Here yeah. we go. Revenge. Six. Oh. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you do oh. not land that okay. hit. Yeah, that's um, fair. That's fair. Most, <laughs> most likely, like, you were moving in for a pretty big lunge with the rapier, well, and because you got hit in the back, like, it, it, just, it fucked up your trajectory yeah. too badly. So she's able to easily parry you as you, as you get close. <laughs> but she's also breathing. She's like... <gasps> <laughs> I'm all I feel you. Salt, I, I it is now your turn. Bloody. Okay, well it now I can is. use hellish rebuke on this motherfucker. On on, on Nailer. Oh. Really? Mhm. Uh -huh. You do you can choose when to use that? Yeah. Well, you have to wait until someone damages you. Oh. oh. Is it a reaction or is it, it is. Um it's not a react. Yes, it is a reaction. Oh. So does that mean that they have to hit me again before I can use it? I think so. Like a, it's like I think you close. need to use it when it happens. Oh, for Let fuck's me. sake! I'm a wither. Okay, yeah. So you can you can use it. Yes. Oh shit. So you uh, how does hellish rebuke work? All right. You point your finger, and the creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes two d10 fire damage on a failed save, or save, or half as much damage on a successful one. Wow, that is intense. Just let me see. So we're going to find out she's a warlock now, right? <laughs> like after this spell. <laughs> Remember when she threw what appeared to be some sort of eldritch flame earlier? She's on now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, root, the worst Bruce Wayne Batman thing. He's like wearing the cowl. They're like, you're a Batman. He's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, wrong voice. Wrong voice. Okay. So, I mean, the, the thing of it is like... I, she she even I've rolled too high for the hellish rebuke damage. So even if she succeeded, that would be it. Um, so she, you cast a uh, hellish rebuke. Um, surging red energy surrounds Nailer, and she she recognizes what's happening. She tries to leap out of the way, does not succeed, and just gets like blasted with this fiery energy. Um. And like her hair gets singed oh, no. to a much cuter do. Oh, if cool. I, do oh, so so. I just made cute. all of you match your hair. So oh. now the whole match. Um, I was going to say, am I so close that my like eyebrows? No, you're get fine. Burned <laughs> off. I'm all, wow. Um, my oh, eyebrows. She uh, pencil them in now. She, no. <laughs> after she's getting hit with this blast, um, she's standing and then she just sort of like collapses and, oh. and she's unconscious. So she's down. Can I take her weapon? We'll get to that. <laughs> Loot. Uh, Loot. Loot. The other red is still there, but realizing that you have just taken down Nailer, he's like, and he just tries to run. You guys can take an opportunity to attack him. Oh, fuck him. yeah. Well, if we're just going to knock him out and not murder him, I'm fine with that. Yeah, so he's... No, no. He, 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 he's all do the splits around okay. him. <laughs> um, he's definitely going to be dead. We're going to kill him. He runs. <laughs> he starts running to the... He runs away, and... um. Uh, the whole all crowd is like, yeah, woo, that was cool, awesome, woo. Uh, 
you are still that the the party seems to be like really happy. Um, Clo is like like he climbs up from behind his console, having I don't know if we knocked him out or if he, he was, was la- laughing. just laughing. Yeah, he was laughing. He climbs back up and he <laughs> My was like, "Smells so good." That was intense, guys. Good job. Oh man, here here, uh, touch some of this. And he 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 starts typing into the console and uh, playing a song. Um, and you feel pretty good. And if you guys like, you can spend a hit dice to try to recover some, oh, some health. Yeah. Let's which is something what's we haven't the, What's before. the hit dice? The D8 or D6? Or? Uh, well, it depends on what you are. Uh, ah. It should say by your health what your hit dice is. My hit dice is... Oh, okay. I don't see hit dice. Oh, oh 1D8 eight plus, two. plus 2. Yeah, so if you want, you oh, can nice. you can roll a hit. Like your, Their hit dice are equal to your level, so you all have 2. And you can roll your hit dice and get back that much health. Okay. You can roll all of them. You can roll a few of them. It's up to you. Do we need to get health? Um, well, I mean, Emma, you, you are at to. seven <laughs> down from 20. So, yeah, maybe. You might want to. I honestly uh, just don't want to you... figure out which dice I use. So you roll it twice. So I roll I can, so I rolled 1d8 twice. If you want, oh, you, roll it, you roll it up to your level. So, like, if you're level two, you have two to roll. Okay. So I got, I hit two and a two. And then, uh, Emma, you just didn't want to f- try to find out I what... I figured di- it out. Oh, okay. You're gonna <laughs> I counted the size. They should put the numbers on the dice so we know what they... Know. Oh. oh so, uh, um, so if you want to ro- so roll it... Three. Okay. Four. So, so you get back 14. seven health. So you're back to 14. Good. I got one and five. Okay, so you get back six. Um, and then Hemlock, I don't think you took any damage. I, I, th- I took one hit. Oh, okay. But yeah. I, ha- I, well, I think I got it back. Convenient. Mr. Split. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to teach a new uh, martial Slugs arts class. Splits. <laughs> Mr. Splits, is it? Do you watch Bob's Burgers? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think of the guy who teaches the dance when oh, he's yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> uh, all right. So um, the, the party is sort of at a little bit of a standstill, but uh, Clo starts, um, starts typing into his console and, and then the music starts playing again. And everyone starts like, well, that was that was pretty chill, but yeah, let's get back to dancing, everybody. Woo! Everyone's like happy. Wow. Um, different recover. song though now. Yeah. Right. Naylor is is still unconscious. That red you knocked out is still is still down for the count. Um, what do you guys want to do? Pants them. Um, okay, you definitely a party, one of those party pranks that people <gasps> Yeah. But first first I told can I can can, can I take her fucking weapon? Um please. You can try. I can try. Yes. So Naylor is unconscious. She's gripping her glaive. Is she like magically connected to this shit? <laughs> We're gonna have to find out, oh, aren't we? Oh, fuck's um, shock you or something? Yeah, it's gonna. I'm never mind. I mean, you can try to get it. I'm not gonna stop you from trying to I get it. I don't like the smile on your face. I'm what? Not, I can't just. <laughs> I can't just let I'm you not do things. Touching shit. Okay. Well, then Naylor is just unconscious on the ground. Um, but but, but <laughs> like we could at least draw a penis on her face or something. Yeah, you have a calligraphy kit, so I'll Hell say yeah. that you, you just We're going to calligraphy a, a dick on her face. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> approves. Okay, so you you draw you draw a funny dick on Naylor's face and she's uncon Rude, rude, okay? She's just been through a lot. <laughs> she comes from a broken home. That's why she's doing this. You don't fucking come at me with any swords if you don't want to come out with a dick on your face. That's true. That's what That's grandma true. says. <laughs> So what do you guys want to do? Um, I want to take her eye patch. Take it. <laughs> the rest of the game is us pilfering her stuff. <laughs> one piece at a time. Okay, so the three of you are just gonna you're, so you're gonna try to take her eye patch? I I don't know. You look mad when I, I mean say it, it just you can <laughs> it just seems cruel that she needs that to cover up the eye she doesn't have and you're taking it. I mean I you can a take trophy. it. Yeah. Take I won't take it. Take I won't finger. take it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Take off a finger. Yeah. No, I'm not going to let know. you mutilate this unconscious woman. <laughs> Carve my initials into her. No. <laughs> you guys are there kiss. emotionally. Someone kiss her. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say you guys are done fucking with Naylor <laughs> so we can move past this. We do that video game tea bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. No, no, we definitely all do. Um, so uh, <laughs> those videos are going to end up on BuzzFeed. That's not going to be good. <laughs> so uh, so now like the party is getting starting to get back to full swing. The music's starting to play. Um, what do you want to do? 
I kind of want to, I mean, the, 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 the creepy music is no longer playing or the, the one music that was making everyone lose their shits no longer playing. No, Chloe is going back to playing like normal stuff. Okay. Was Gil still? Around, yeah, yeah. He left towards the back. I yeah, think. he went. He because remember this the, the way this this building is laid out. You guys are in like one end of a hallway. You go down the hall and up the stairs, and there's another hallway. Let's I'm go. gonna chase his ass. Yeah, yeah. so f- we got to finish this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chloe, keep the beats going, <laughs> but not the evil beats. <laughs> Good yeah, beats. you know. <laughs> hey, man, it's up to Shuffle God at this point. <laughs> Be a real DJ for five minutes. <laughs> Okay, um, you guys start making your way uh, through the the party. I mean, everyone's like they're they they're not afraid of you. They just thought it was really cool that they, they got to see a fight. Um, as you are making your way through, um, you see the red that started running away. He's ahead of you, um, and he's he's making his way through the crowd as well. People are making fun of him, but he's still making his way through the crowd, <laughs> trying to get to the stairs. Um, what do you want to do? Do I Attack of opportunity. I was going to say, like, do I have rope? <laughs> do I have a lasso? <laughs> Did you want to try to lasso him? I want to try and lasso him with my bow and arrow. <laughs> what? I want to shoot a bow and arrow around you won't, his I, ankle. You're I not going to be able that works. You won't be able to enable that in time. Oh, no. Yeah, let's lasso him. Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to try to throw rope to get him? Or You don't have time to tie a, a, a noose or anything. Okay. Well, does someone else have? You can try making them laugh. Uh, I was going <laughs> to yeah, put you, bugs all over him. Oh, would, yeah. the, would the bugs kill him or knock him out? If I'm lucky. You can do that. Yes. All right. So, yeah, you're going to blast him with Eldritch Blast. Okay. Go. Oh, wait, no, I roll that. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, wait, which one? Because one of them is a resistance thing, isn't it? It's a cantrip. Yeah. They're both cantrips. So you hit him for four damage. Um, yeah, he... He, I mean, like, he's stung by some kind of spectral bug that's under his shirt, but he's still just running towards the stairs. I mean, like, all all infestation makes him do is run. Resilient little fuck. But, I mean, you've, you've made him run now with a more hurried uh, reasoning. Which, um, uh, uh, Ren, you got something to stop him? I got him? dissonant whispers. Can I use that to make him... To do, make, do what? Cause so it, like... Just affects him so he can't move or anything. Could I? Is that what it does? Yeah, that's a good oh, sweet. One. Pretty much. <laughs> that seems like it's describe might be useful what it does. Right creature doesn't move. Oh wait. Uh, da, 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 da. One creature of your choice within range can hear racking it with terrible pain. The target must make a wisdom saving throw on failed save. It takes three d6 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction if available. What the hell kind what of spell? Is that is a, a lot bad of damage. Damage spell. To move as far as its speed allows away from you. Yeah. I'm bad at reading out That's loud. dissonant that's whispers? Yeah. No, that's uh, just a bonkers ass spell. That's a, that spell is like... That's, that's you should have been using this the whole time. <laughs> Nerf yeah. friend. Nerf friend. <laughs> Not in this patch. <laughs> Okay, I got a scars after this art. Oh, yeah, for sure. Dissonant whisper. Let's use the item duplication glitch while JoJo's reading a book. (laughs) There is no item duplication (laughs) glitch. Let's clip through the world. Oh my god, that is what it does. Holy shit, this is an incredibly powerful spell. Wow, you're gonna burn a spell slot on this? Yes, do it. Oh Oh my god. Well, I think we're gonna have to fight Gil probably. Oh, okay. um, How many spells have you used already in your slots? Nah, yeah. She's used can can trips. I think to, um, hideous laughter is a can trip. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this will oofa doofa. <laughs> oh yikes! Oofa doofa. <laughs> that he wishes he could do the splits right. He's now. he. I mean, like <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> That's me. You quickly you quickly strum the loot down, oh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and he you. is he is. Does he like dissolve? I mean the 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 he basically grabs his ears and screams in horrible agony oh and then I'm like, Oh my god, down. I've never seen this work before. <laughs> <laughs> incredibly bad. Uh, wh- whoopsie daisy. Oh. Um I, I just didn't know what kind of power I had. Yeah, he's he's down. So uh you are now you are now close to the staircase. That guy is Unconscious. <laughs> I clap at him as I pass over. Yeah, let's do a nice little <laughs> golf clap at him as we walk by. Good him. job, oh. I would have saved that spell. Oh, yeah, I don't think I don't think Tasha's is a cantrip. 
Probably. I think Tosses is a legit spell, so you've burned two spell slots. Wow. How many do I have? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Check your, check your sheet. I like that <laughs> it you tells you how you have slots you have. <laughs> less spells. Whoa, you unbelievable. Oh, that was fast. very aggressive. I like it. I mean, I mean, you, you achieved your stated goal using magic, but I can't just let you do that all the time. Do it all the time. I have three total. Okay, so you have one spell slot left. Okay, I Wait. think I know what I'm going to use during the I was going to say, you've got a, no. a nuclear uh -huh. option now, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Man, yeah. I would have only just read these cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have all this shit you can do if you would just, like, you know what? To be read. Fair, most of the time when I get here, I'm high as fuck. So <laughs> to be fair, I'm I am high as I'm trying to remember balls. what happened last week. Okay. Two weeks um, ago. <laughs> you have now reached the staircase. Uh, there's still some people, like, partying down here. It's, the vibe is more chill. Um, what do you want to do? more. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they saw that guy get knocked out and they were like, nice. <laughs> everyone's everyone's like everyone's super OK with the violence of this party. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, <laughs> they were well, like, that like, was like, pretty fight, fight, that was fight. pretty crazy. Ooh, she's like dead. Oh, she's dead. Yeah. Wow. They, they really messed her up. Yeah, All like, right. Her to conga line. Are they yeah. just dancing around her? Yes. Yeah, no, they're, they're dancing think, over well, her. I'm imagining when you guys drew on her, you put her in a chair or something like I don't think you just drew on her while she was laying face down. <laughs> That's what I did. Um. So yeah, uh, you've made it to the staircase, and because that guy was uh, stopped um, by by magical means, <laughs> bizarrely huge overkill. By yeah, the way, sorry, I mean, worth I it. Didn't, I didn't um, know. Worth it. Yeah, you've you've now uh, reached the staircase. So, um, what do you want to do? Okay, we got to figure out where Gil went. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go well, upstairs. Is there only one way to go? I mean, there's up, and there's lots of there's. I mean, you haven't, you, you've walked through the first floor. You didn't see him there. A lot of the doors were shut. It was just a hallway where everyone was partying. And, and you do recall that he left, like he was, he went back towards the staircase after he did his little spell. Staircase. I say staircase. staircase yeah. Okay. Take the stairs. Yeah. Um, you get up, get to the top of the stairs. You see that um, there's no one partying up here. Uh -huh. And instead at the, at the at end of the hallway, are um are two reds uh that uh, that look basically big and burly like they're trying to be guards. <laughs> they're like eighth graders. So <laughs> <laughs> these ones are a little older. Oh, um, they're probably forty seven. <laughs> they're probably like one or two years out of school. You would oh, you would guess there. they're they're a little bit older. They work at the local fantasy Seven Eleven. They they're basically yeah. like these would be in, these these guys would have been in Gill's class basically. Okay. Um. So what do you want to do? Uh. Well, do they see us? Of course they see you. Hi, wave. Hi. You just walk, you, you walked up the stairs, and there they are, and there you are. Okay. Like, of course they see you. Is it, wait, they're kind of confused as to why you're here, but they're not doing anything. Does, does do you still look like a red? Selfie? I was gonna say. You could act like you caught us. Well, I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna turn into a fucking nailer, motherfucker. Oh, that would have. If you guys want, you can. I can let you guys go back down the stairs. <laughs> Get just, into disguise oh, and go no. back I'm, up the stairs. I'm the last in line, and I just kind of slow down closer to the top, and I do a quick wickety wick. Yeah, and she's behind us, so they didn't see her doing the wickety wick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We okay. Okay. Used okay. The okay. Book before now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the book's being pulled <laughs> out time. so much tonight. Well, I just, you guys are just you, doing this backwards ass <laughs> shit, and I gotta make sure it's all it's all <laughs> legit. You mean solving the puzzle? You're right. <laughs> you, yeah, you solved my hallway. <laughs> Your hallway puzzle. First of all, I OP'd that hallway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I fucking the knights of the Okay, okay, okay. Right so there. so you you disguised yourself as Nailer. <laughs> and you I, sell this so I guess you put your hands on Ren's and Hemlock's shoulder. No, 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 no. I grabbed like them by the scruff. And I'm like you muscling them. them. Okay. Oh. Um you uh, pieces of shit, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, hey, Naylor. What's what, what's up with these Move the two? fuck out of the way. Yikes. Yikes. You love bitches. And then we're trying to sell like, she's crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The tension dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, That's okay. not good. That's not good. First red goes, well, Naylor, you don't. Why are you so mad? You you're not normally this mad. <laughs> they hurt me with their weapons and their laughter. Yeah. And now now this is now this is something you did not establish. 
what version of Nailer did you make? Did you make short hair Nailer as she is now or long hair Nailer <laughs> oh, before she was hurt? Yeah, no, no. I made battle torn Nailer. <laughs> okay, I will allow that because <laughs> otherwise that would have failed. If you're going to give her the option, you can give her the option. If she can't choose the one, that's right. That's right. Um, okay, you... you <laughs> They, they, I guess they, they'll part to allow. Yeah, you better move the together. fuck out of the way before I kill you. Um, okay, we're like, well, I guess take him to take him to Gil. I, I think you can probably still use him for what he's doing. And then they, they step aside. What he's doing? What he's doing? Yep. Mm. Uh, that sounds uh, kinky. Yep. Um. So you are walking through. Um. There are. It, the lights are pretty much off in this area. Like there are candles burning. Like downstairs, there's like lights. Like there are people who have made a. There's like torches, and then there's like there's hanging lights that are probably powered by some kind of light spell. But up, upstairs, all the lights are pretty much extinguished as you're walking down this hallway. Aside from the 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 lights by the staircase, and at the end of the hall, um, that kitchen area that you saw earlier, um, the door to it is shut, and there's like a light um, glow. Um, around the door, and then there seems to be some light smoke wafting from underneath it. Oh, man, they're hot, hot boxed in that room. Uh, <laughs> that fucking Bogart. You gotta get in there. <laughs> Danielle, that Bogart. <laughs> Is that what the kids say? That's what them say. <laughs> Am I doing it right? What, what do you want to do? Um, well, I'm gonna open the door. Okay, <laughs> just, just straight up, huh? Yep. Okay. Is it locked? When you open the door, oh. uh, it's not locked because that's why they had guards. So. Oh, okay. And even if there, if it was locked, like hemlock's there, I'm not gonna make you roll oh. to unlock this door. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. Gonna, gonna hemlock this the, door. <laughs> that's what the, I thought he said. Actually, the door, the door opens, and you see in this room, um, it's just Gil in there. Oh. Um, he's on the opposite end of the like like the way the room is laid out, like in front of you, there's like a dining table. Um, then there's some negative space and then there's like a little, like a, like a hutch, like not a hutch, like a, like a, I guess it'd be like a counter where mm-hmm. there's some chairs. And on the other side of that is the kitchen where there's an Island and that's where he is. Um, and he seems to be, uh, mixing something in a big cauldron that's sitting on top of the, the, the counter, which by the way, no one ever uses cauldron. I was going to say this is pretty witchy. Yeah. yeah. Um, Very witchy. Some old in his hand yeah. though, yeah. is that velvet bag that you saw earlier in the night uh, when you were scouting out this place that you did nothing about. He, he has that velvet bag still. Oh, um, and I don't remember a velvet. Yeah, I don't remember a velvet bag either. Yeah, it was. When it was okay. I will. Re- I will remind you. Oh, you just got, to rub it. Yeah, in. you snuck yeah, upstairs. Right, right. You said, "What is a threat I hadn't noticed?" And I said, "There's this velvet bag." <laughs> oh, so he, he didn't do anything. And we were with like, that "Okay, peace out, bag." Yeah. Bye. Um, so he has that. Uh, he has that bag, and he's pulling stuff out of it and putting it in the cauldron. And every time he does, like some smoke is wafting out of it. Um, what do you want to do? Spices, my assumption is. <laughs> he doesn't see us, obviously. His back's to us, right? Yeah. So here's your this is I mean, your time to shine. This is a uh yeah, he doesn't. His back's I mean, do high. we want to try to get any information out of him? Well, first? I think we gotta, need to get the bag away from him. Or are we just yeah. gonna let's let's hurt him first. Yeah. Let's make him talk out of hurt. Let's let's get the bag away from his person. Yeah. And because I can hide. And I can sneak up to well, him. Well, he's already, his back is to us. So you yeah. can just fucking use your, <laughs> you know what I mean? Can I don't I, know what card that is. Do I? <laughs> What's your <laughs> card? Do you know? Which one is that? You roll a D20 to, <laughs> <laughs> your yeah hits him. Um, Can I, tr- I mean, I feel like trying to just steal the bag is going to be a hard ass roll. It's in his hand. So it's, it's almost impossible. Okay. Yeah. Um, Oof. Is there anything else in the room of interest? Well, the, uh, you can roll to read the situation. Yeah, I want to read the sitch. Yeah. Ugh, that's what? a three. I'm in a room! <laughs> I think. Uh, I'm going to roll the tension pull, but I'm going to let you ask a question first. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... um you can, like, use... I'm trying to remember most of them now, because they're pretty easy to remember. Yeah. Um... So read read a situation. Read a situation. Oh, Daniel. Who or what here is not as they appear? 
you see some type of flittering shadow around Gil that is not coming from any light source. It just seems like there's a shadow surrounding him in some way. Like right. he has a weird he's, he's aura. Oh, okay. Or is it that fucking floaty guy again? It's yeah. a floaty guy, yeah. It's a persona. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, he notices that you guys are there and turns to see you. Um, and he sees Naylor and he goes, Naylor. And those two. Yeah, okay. You you know who I am. <laughs> yeah, I have a name. I, mean, I don't actually think he does. Yo, I made him laugh for like 30 minutes on the roof. <laughs> How can he not remember that set? <laughs> well, what, what did these two do? All right, play uh, it cool. I, I whisper, play it cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I smack you upside the head. Uh. Do you see what they did to me? Yeah, they gave you a they gave you a fiery makeover. That's not that's not too chill. Um, These two, they are powerful. I think I speak as Russian. They are powerful, and I have brought them to you. You know that's not what Naylor sounds like. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what she sounds. Yeah, like. she did talk. You did. Yeah. She sounded like you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, then. like JoJo. <laughs> 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 That's so weird. Hemlock just died. <laughs> oh, so weird. Hemlock just had an aneurysm. And now he's down for the count. He's had it for years. Didn't even know. Uh, okay, so you... Okay. These two, uh, they hurt me. Uh, uh, fuck them up. Uh, that, was, that was a pretty weird voice to you. you know, typically, it's not like that. But okay. Um, well, I guess uh, I guess time to the chairs. We can, we can test it on them. Okay. Uh, what are we testing? Yeah, I'm not hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a bummer, huh? So, um, what do you want to do? I'm gonna tie them <laughs> <laughs> loosely. Loosely. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you take them. You throw the rope. Are you gonna, what, <laughs> um, what chairs are you gonna tie them to? Uh, I, I, I like how I said we're gonna move away from where you guys sit, but this situation, I have to ask, where are you putting them? Do there's I the have... dining table and there's the counter. Okay. <laughs> I'll just tie them to the counter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The counter is there. No, no, no. No, I'll make them sit on the stools and then I'll tie them to the stools. Okay. I'll be like, this will hold them. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, that's fine. Um, is it yeah, loosely tied? Loosely yeah, tied. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's, okay. it's, I'm it's, like, like, homie hookup tie. Also, yeah. you like, could just stand up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just have a stool attached to our butt. We'll yeah, it's a weapon <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, you got to stool but weapon. I don't like it when Jojo starts rolling things. Yeah, he's yeah, just he's without us even okay. doing anything. Uh, you tie them quote unquote to the, the the stools that they're sitting on. They have like backs so it's like it's like no. that kind of a bar stool no. but um, they're tied to it now. Quote unquote. Oh cool. Um, You're f- and uh, Gil sets down the, the bag mm? and he <laughs> <laughs> he turns to he turns to the three of you and he says, uh, you three were there on the roof, weren't you? I'm sorry, you two. I don't know oh, three. I was Naylor say, wasn't there. I don't know what the You two thing. were on the roof, weren't you? I remember. Didn't one of you throw a pie of some sort? There was a lot happening on the roof. There was a lot of pie. Yeah. 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 That's a lot of pies that were thrown. A lot thrown. of things flying around. A lot of laughing. I well, thought it was a good time. Yeah. I, I thought you were having a great time. I, I, took I, I saw you home. giggling quite up. Yeah, it was pretty. I mean, like, honestly. Yeah, was, that must have been a pretty good joke to make you. <laughs> could you retell it real quick so I could write it down? <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> well, I'm very glad that uh, we were able to get at least you two here because you two seem pretty. Pretty, pretty spry and hearty from what I saw on top of that roof in between my bouts of laughter. <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, so that's cool. Um, what you, what you, uh, what are you doing up here? What, what are you cooking? Good looking. Well, hey, this, uh, I'm trying to yeah, laying, yeah. laying it on. Yeah. Um, he's like, well, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, I guess I can tell you guys. We're gonna it's, not, it's not going to matter too much. Yeah. Yeah. Monologue a little bit. It's cool. cool oh no. Place. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's my plan right now. <laughs> uh, you may not know this. Um, this kitchen has a false floor. 
Yeah, they they uh, <laughs> uh. Oh. Spring Willow didn't really um care too much about this particular dorm before it got decommissioned. So uh, right now, this is just some two by fours, my man. I can just kick this uh, this hutch and this collagen will fall straight down. Oh. Onto, onto the party goers? Onto the party goers, oh. yes. That's your plan? Is well, that nice? that's part of it. Okay. Um, he then pulls out his bagpipe. <laughs> oh, God. God. Here it comes. And he starts playing uh, that song. He starts playing that song. Oh, wait, 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 God. wait. No, so then I have to roundhouse him in the face. You're going to attack him? Yeah. I, we should let it play out. You want it? All right. Okay. No, I mean, you do what you want. No, no, to, no, but... no. Let it, let it, let it. No, don't. We'll let, we'll just. <laughs> okay. Jeff, uh, just, are you Jeff. doing something or are you just letting this happen? I want, I need to know. <laughs> Try and kick him. Use your, <laughs> use, you know what? Use your gut. I'm just kidding. What? I'm tied to a stool right now. Loosely. Quotes. Loosely tied Air to a quotes. stool. Air quotes. So, can you kick the bag away from him? <laughs> can I grab the bag? Am I in? You're on the other side of the counter, so this this will be like mm. quite the maneuver. Quite a, quite a maneuver, I see. Genuine, yeah. I can't help genuine. To fuck genuine can't fucking, help. God, <laughs> ass, genuine, God. God damn it. God, where's he been this whole ass time? He's watching from the corners and just keeping an eye on you, but he can't do anything about this, so... Uh, do you want to see how it plays out? You want me to kick him in the no, face? No, don't let you do it. Okay, don't we're gonna go with Emma's plan. It. We're gonna. Okay. Oh, don't no, damn it! <laughs> All right, so Dubs. so so just let letting just letting it see what happens. See what see what happens. Okay, I guess. So now I um, regret saying the song is playing, and you guys the like not obviously not um not salt but ran and hemlock um. Uh, you start feeling that that sense of uh, that sense of dread that you felt when you first encountered Gil at the BMX quarry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and you feel very like nervous and uncomfortable, but then it kind of passes, and whatever it was supposed to do, you're not sure if it did it because that song just isn't. It's not. It's not doing anything to you. All hands. Um. And then uh, Gil kind of looks at you quizzically and is like, Man, maybe I screwed it up. Hang on. And he starts playing it again. He's like, wait, wait, hold on. Duh. Wait, wait, hold on. Duh. Wait, wait, wait. I know on. it. I know it. I know it. Just hang on. Just, just shut up. Just hang on. Is it in tune? I just thought the wrong Of course. Bessie is always in tune. Oh, no. Give me, oh. give me, just, get, just it's hang on. drop D. No. Yeah, um, he starts, he starts messing with, uh, he starts messing with his bagpipe. Um, <laughs> oh, opening. What do you? Right. I'll turn away. Jesus. How wanna, far is he from me? He's across the counter. So I can't like attack him. But you. You would have to leap across the counter. Can I? Can I? Dis- yeah, can I hide? Can I? <laughs> I will say <laughs> I do street magic. Yeah. I will say you can have the benefits of being hidden right now, just because um, salt He's... didn't really tie you to the chair. Okay. But you you are you're you're not like you have the benefits of hiding, but you're still visible. So he'll see that, that I'm sense. gone. No, you're just going to be sitting there, but if you try to attack him, it's going to be surprising enough that it'll be like a sneak attack. Okay. Was it just attacks or is it also actions? Uh, actions too. <clears throat> um, so I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to. Okay. You're, you're hidden. You, you have the benefits of hiding. What do you yes. want to do? Do I have advantage when trying to grab an object like the bag? That's an echo. Cause uh, he's not paying attention to it right now. Yeah. I'll say that you'll, you can try to, you, you, you'll have advantage if you try to get that bag. Okay. Right I want to try and get the bag. Okay. Roll, um, a sleight of hand check. Come on, Jonesy. 17. Yeah. Okay. Um, while he's messing with the, the, the bagpipe trying to, I guess, get it back in tune or whatever. Yeah. Um, Jones, uh, Hemlock reaches across the counter, quickly palms the bag and s- it gets right back into the chair. I did it. I finally. Nice. Yeah. You did it. Stand you, rose. you stand up and cheer. <laughs> finally. Uh, once you do that, um, he's like, all right, all right. I got, I got it. I got it this time. Um, and he, he plays the song again. And again, you feel that sense of dread. And again, it, it feels like it passes. Whatever it was supposed to do, it, it doesn't seem like it's working on you. So um, what do you want to do? Can we pretend it's working on us? 
Is there nothing wrong with yeah. that? I mean, you can. Um, <laughs> but what do, we, make up? what do we don't know what it's supposed to do? silently. Oh, whoa. Oh, how did it, did we see anybody react to it before? Yeah, didn't everyone just got like all manic and crazy, right? Downstairs when they were playing it. But that was like, they, the like music. Mosh- well, this is music. I mean, but like, didn't we hear it played when we were with... Um, the at the shop with um the dj you did yes this is what the way that the way that gil is doing it right now is is, is different it's okay. like he's actually ca- he's like casting it if mm. that makes sense okay it's different than when like clo played it as an example or when when ren you played it like to warm up on accident like yeah. it th- th- he, like there's intention behind it Okay. okay. So it's not just the act of playing it; like there's an intent behind playing it, mm. um, and it's you. You can feel it's trying to do something to you. Okay. Um, we got to get this bag of ingredients out of here. Well, you have it. You yeah, I mean, you have it. Me. You've scrolled it away in your palm. You want to pass it to me, and I'll. You could try and like talk your way out of the room real quick, and just be like, "Hey, I got a X, Y, and Z. I got pee. Yeah. I yeah, drink a lot pee. of punch. Can I? Can I get get her to take the bag? Uh, yeah. I mean. You'll have to make a sleight of hand check to see if you can put it in her pocket. Okay. Don't do that. And you're gonna you're gonna talk your way out of the room. Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, that's a nine. Do I have a bonus to that? Yeah, I'll say that you're able to sneak it into her pocket. Um, craziest action in the okay. world. Yeah, because he's, she's behind the counter anyway. It's not that it's not that difficult to do. Yeah. Um, Looks like I'm just. That okay. doesn't change the thing of like what, how are you guys reacting to the song playing. Well, it's not doing anything, right? Well, yeah, but but Hemlock pitched the idea like, should we pretend like it is? Oh yeah, we could. Yeah, we're just like, uh, okay, yeah, um, kind of seem like dissonant, moody. sort of like, just, yeah, like we're shoegazing. And we say we, <laughs> yeah, okay. did. Oh. all right. So um, he's like, all right, perfect. So what you're experiencing right now is uh, is is your souls are being harmonized. Oh my soul! Oh, oh, I feel it. <laughs> no. I mean, this is what I engineered socially, and I feel embarrassed about this situation. <laughs> but, um, um, <laughs> is this soul music that I've heard so much about? <laughs> the soul music. Anyway, <laughs> uh, now what's cool is uh, if you guys end up having to, you know expire at this time then uh then that energy is gonna go whoosh, right to uh well somewhere somewhere very specific it's very uh, vague about something very specific yeah it's very vague about something pretty intense yeah i bet i mean like he doesn't need to explain it to you you're gonna die so he goes over he goes over to his cauldron um and he pulls out a ladle uh from like behind and he dips into the cauldron and then uh he looks at it and he like smells it and he's like, oof. Um, and then he starts looking for the bag. Oh. Um, what do you want to do? I mean, we don't know anything about a bag. I mean, yeah, we're still over here like, ah, oh, my soul. You want to, you could, <laughs> ah, yeah. boys to men. Oh. Um, do you want to try and leave the room now or try and, I mean, I will. Do I have genuine? Can- I mean, I don't know about genuine. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. I don't know shit. Yeah. I could fall over. Okay. Distract. That's him. good. Yeah. That's I could then, fall over in my chair and distract him. Yeah. And, and I'll then be like, you... I'm going to leave you alone. I'll let be back. You know. Okay. Uh, all right. So you're going to fall over and you're going to say, like, I'm going to leave you alone to deal with this. Um, who goes? Who does what first? Fall over first. Yeah. That'll look kind of suspicious if I fall over and then you just leave us. Okay. Well, then I'll peace out first. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna make you roll for it. He's like, yeah, okay, I know you don't like, you don't like seeing this part. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's a camera rolling somewhere. What the so, hell? Eight millimeter? And so you walk out with the bag, um, and, uh, he can't find it. And he's like, ah, oh, dang it. Where'd I put that thing? Oh, well, this, uh, this should be good enough anyway. And he turns to, uh, to Hemlock first. Uh, Hemlock, what do you want to do? Ah! <laughs> I fall backwards <laughs> and I start struggling on the ground like I can't get up. So he can't feed it to me, whatever he's trying to do. <laughs> and oh. Maybe he's going like, to try and pick you back up. And then that's when I break out of my fake hell tie yeah. attack. Him. And you should hopefully Garot him. Garot. Like, you should hopefully get rid of the bag at hopefully that point and then <laughs> come back in and help us. Yeah. We need to basically get rid of the fucking pot of shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, Is there like a, a toilet in the room somewhere? <laughs> what? 
In the kitchen? No. <laughs> fantasy kitchen? No, there's no okay. toilet in a fantasy kitchen is or a any kitchen. Well, we can't like knock it over either because he said It'll the floor down is down it. made oh, of nothing. Yeah. But is, is this a kitchen so. area? Is there like a sink or a... Yeah, there's a sink. Is there a dish pit? <laughs> there's a sink, y'all. There's a sink. No, I wouldn't call it a dish pit, but it is pretty. It's like a stainless steel sink. But it's a cauldron, sink. so it's going to take like a couple of The two of us, us does really... Lift. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so you're knocked over. Um He's like, oh man, and he walks over, um, still holding the ladle, and he uh, he's he reaches your shoulder and starts to pull you back up. And I'm gonna jump and get him, but knock the ladle out of his hand so he can't, you know. Okay. Just so that's gone. Okay. Okay. I don't want to drink it. No, no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm my tum tum. Okay, so uh, make a <laughs> make a attack roll. Um, Fifteen. Okay, you managed to hit um, Gil in the hand, and the the ladle goes flying. Um, and once it hits, it clatters against the wall and like uh, the wall of the kitchen, and then it lands, and then the liquid um, in it splashes onto the ground. And as soon as it's no longer in the metal cauldron or the metal uh, utensil it's in, it starts like oxidizing Uh-oh. and it starts emitting this, this, yeah. this vapor. Oh, oh no. no, but just a little bit, right? Just a little bit, okay. but enough that, uh, that you guys can, can kind of get a whiff of it. it. It smells like, like nail polish from, it smells really Bad. intense. Oxygen. Um, and, uh, so he's like, it has to stay in something metal. He's Is like, the sink metal. <laughs> Yeah, I said it was. Oh, steel. Yeah. It's metal. Um, so uh, he he's like, he he looks at you and he's like, he, it takes him a second before he realizes what just happened, and then um, Hemlock, you're gonna you can make a, a dexterity saving throw to see what happens next. Fuck. <laughs> That's a nine again. Hmm. Uh, Do I have a bonus to that. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you <laughs> you're a rogue. Uh, my my Dirks is plus five. So that's nine that's plus five. 14. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, 14. God damn. As you, he's right there on top of you. Yeah, so but like I'm, as, I'm as late. you, uh, as, as Ren kicks it away, he realized what's happening. Um, he reaches his pretty huge hand down, grabs you by the neck and stands and lifts you up. Oh, uh, and takes a step, uh, takes a step back to square off against Ren, who he knows is you're not tied up. Yeah, he's he's aware. He's like, let me guess. That wasn't actually Naylor, was it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I laugh, but I'm still choked. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I know it, it, it really wasn't that good a goof. You guys anyway. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are trying to pull here, but it's a little bit too late. Don't you think I kind of have the cauldron and uh, based on what happened to my countertop, by the way, you owe me a new countertop. What? Seems like it's going to be fine. Uh. He, sta- he's, he, uh, he takes, start taking a step back over to the cauldron, having you firmly in his grasp. Um, I don't think you appreciated how strong Gil was, but he's very strong. I got to get you out. You got to get me the fuck out of this. Yep. Okay. He's making his way towards the uh, cauldron. He's going to make me do. drink it. No. Can I? Again, you don't need to drink it to have it affect you. Oh, no. <laughs> don't breathe. <laughs> I am going to cast Dissident Whispers again. Do it. No. Okay. <laughs> on, on Gil? Yeah. yeah. Do it. Okay. Will what? that make him drop me? Well, it's I mean, gonna fuck him up. Yeah. Right? All right. Um, kind of maybe. So what? What? How? In the fiction, what do you do to cast this? Like in what? Do you, what do I do? What are you actually doing to cast this? I'm. I gotta whisper a melody. Okay. So I'm like, da, 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 da. I like big butts, <laughs> <laughs> and I can't. I thought you were, doing like that. That. <laughs> I thought you were singing "Kiss My Rose." I was. <laughs> a la la la. <laughs> that try. That would be a good one to do. <laughs> he did not like that. Okay. Uh, the, um, as guilt starts taking a step, you notice that he's, uh, he, he starts like slowing his, his pace. Um, cause, and then he reaches his hand up and he, he starts like growling and then he lets go of hemlock and grabs both of his ears and starts, uh, screaming in agony. Yeah. Oh, dang. Uh, I don't remember this. Spell. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It's fucking now, horrifying. Grab his head. And drown him in the cauldron. Oh, God. Can we do that? Yeah. Uh, I'll come in and help you. Yeah, you can try. I, I There's that option. But also the other thing that I was thinking, if the ground is so weak. Yeah, just like stomp on if it. If we could drop him yeah. to the bottom floor. But wouldn't that knock the cauldron over too? No, if the, the cauldron's floor... on the countertop. Oh, whoops. I thought it was on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, 
So you did eight points of uh, of damage, but it hurt really bad. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do? What's what's happening now? Because he's let he's let Hemlock go, and we're not rolling free. for initiative or anything yeah. yet. Uh, can we go for the pot and drain it into the sink? Is he like still going to be? Uh, uh, he's he's kind of affected by the spell for a second. Okay, you want to try I'm, that? Yeah, let's try and down. fucking pour that yeah, just shit don't in. Inhale. Yeah, let's let's. Yeah, put, we got our. <laughs> put on your N95. Our, mask. Yeah, our yeah, mask. put my yeah, put my, my mask on. E, okay, in order to move this thing, each of you is going to have to grab a side, and uh, so you guys pop over the counter while Gil's indisposed for a second. Mm-hmm. Um, each of you grab a point of this uh, cauldron. <gasps> Make a strength check. What's my strength right now? Probably oh, not good. You guys are both stealthy. I got a 19. Whoa. I got a nine. You might want to burn one of those Bardic inspirations. If we get rid of this thing, at least people won't burn alive from it. That's true. That's the six-sided one I got to roll. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that the normal dice? That's the normal or? one. It's, yeah. it's what we call a normal dice. Four. Okay, so you had nine plus four. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys managed to drag the cauldron over to the counter. It is it is filled and it is heavy. It's a few hundred pounds, but you guys Ooh. managed to get it over there. Um, yeah, I had teenage strength. Uh, <laughs> I have adrenaline. You get it to the edge, um, and it starts to tilt into the sink. Yes. Uh, as it does, um, you hear Gil yell, "No!" And then, um, but the way he yells "No" is is impossibly loud. Mm. It scares the shit out of us. It's, it's very, it. it's very frightening, but it's not like scary enough to drop it. Okay. Um, and then you see that shadowy thing around Gil, like it starts to get bigger, and now it starts to look like where where Gil is standing. There's like an outline around him of this flowing black like shadowy thing. Oh, it's like Jojo's um, adventure. Oh no, it's Joe. <laughs> and then he reaches down, uh, pulls out his, uh, long sword and he rushes up to try to stop you. Oh, can I come back in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you come back in in a second. Cause I'm going to assume that you've heard the commotion. Yeah. You're just like, her in the hallway. Like, what was I supposed to be? Yeah, doing? No, but so, uh, Here, here's my, I, I take the bag, right? And I, I go to the nearest window, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I take it and I throw it up on the roof. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll say that you do that because you know where the windows. <laughs> Treat are. it like the cops are coming to this party and we got to get exactly. rid of all the coke. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Um. So you manage to do that. So that's you'll you'll be last in the order, but you'll you'll come in in a second. Um. Ren and uh, Hemlock, roll for initiative, please. Mm. Uh, Fifteen. Twelve. Okay. Uh, all right. So going first will be Gil because you two are indisposed trying to hold this cauldron and, uh, it's, uh, it's draining, but I mean, it's like, you got to hold it in place or it's going to get loose. Um, he comes up to you, uh, Ren and tries to strike at you. I block. Gotcha. (laughs) With your one (laughs) other arm. I use my foot block. Uh, oh, he yeah. manages to get you um, for five points of damage as you trade blows, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Please, Christ. <laughs> Four. Oh, oh pl- oh, you have any strength plus? And you burned your other thing, huh? No, you. I have one. You wouldn't. One it, this more. this wouldn't do. Even if yeah, yeah so this low. is not going to work. So um, can I trade a point of grades? No, <laughs> I mean, what, you can. I, you can. Are? You can spend something to redo it if you want. Do it. Do yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Can okay. I do that? Let's just keep spending shit to keep redoing yeah. it. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, it didn't take. Whatever you studied did not help you hold this pot harder. <laughs> so you have now let go of the Fuck. the oh, pot. I should have done mage hand. <laughs> it's way more than 10 pounds yeah. regardless oh it's only 10 pounds yeah. well it's way more than 10 pounds no i mean my uh, nation yes okay. so um you let go of your side um Sorry. you also took five points of damage Whoa. another five points well, well just mark down that you lost your five points of damage when gil struck you okay um and the uh the cauldron is now loosened from your grip um Hemlock, you are going to need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, my dex is plus five, so that's good. So roll. 17. Okay, you manage to hop up on the counter as the cauldron (laughs) falls into the floor, tilts, and then um, 
spills over butter side down and all the liquid in it starts flowing down into the floorboards and is going to start going down into the the floor. Um, it's not coming up because the cauldron is over it, but it's it's oxidizing with the the with the floor and the gas has to go somewhere. So it's coming back up. To well, our faces. <laughs> it's but it's not going downstairs. I didn't say that. Oh. I said it's oxidizing with this floor and it's eating through it. So and there's a lot of it. So. Um, whatever you were hoping to avoid, I don't know that you've avoided it. Yeah. So uh, it is now Hemlock's turn. <laughs> what do you uh, want to do? I feel like you need to get everybody out from downstairs. I have to know. Yeah, I know. I know. Do it. Yeah. Yep. Um, so Hemlock, what do you want to do? Um, I feel like just the two of us taking them on is going to be fucking awful. Yeah. Um, you just scream at me. I mean, you're already on your way, though. He said your, your turn is going to be at the end of ours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. My, and then I could go downstairs on that turn. Yep. Oh, okay. Can I do that? Oh, do what? Can I yell out to Salt to just like get everyone out? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. And then now, what do you want to do? Um, I want to. Um, well, I'm going to use my my cunning action. Uh huh. Um, to. I want to get some distance away from him. Okay. And then I want to use a ranged attack on him. All right. So you you disengage, you step away, and now you can take a shot with your bow. So yeah. Go ahead and do that. Thirteen. Okay, that is a hit. Um, you get him for six points of damage. You shoot an arrow. It hits him in, in like the chest. He's wearing like thick like chainmail and hide plates, so just get, the arrow just gets stuck. But you can tell you got him pretty solid um, for six points of damage. It is now the turn of everyone's favorite bard, Ren. Ren, what would you like to do? I'm yep. going to go after him with my rapier. Okay. <laughs> ha ha. Uh, <laughs> roll to strike. 11. Okay. That is a hit. Nice. God. He's going to have like a second form or some shit. Mm-hmm. Didn't he already uh, take the second form? I don't know yet. I'm not sure. You did. Uh, is it is your damage at plus three? So you did nine yeah. points of damage. Nice. Um, yeah. So you were able to 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 double up with the strike that uh, Hemlock did. Yeah. Nine points. Gil struck and he takes a step back. Um, and he's like against the counter now with like your rapier sort of in his in his guts. Ugh. Yeah, but he grabs onto your rapier. I'm all that. Uh, salt. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is now your turn. Okay, so ostensibly hearing um, Hemlock's shout, "Help! Get the fuck out!" <laughs> is there no sprinkler system in this place? Is there? No. Oh, this is the building they stopped caring about. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run downstairs and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to whip out my dagger and I'm going to be like, everybody out. I'm going to fucking kill you. And no, yeah, yeah. Cause I still look like scary lady. So I'm like, yeah, but they know that she's, yeah, they already know she's down there. She's so down there with dicks on her face. Yeah. <laughs> They're really not afraid of her now. <laughs> um, but yeah, you still look like nailer. So you're just going to run downstairs. Okay. Um, you can get to the hallway. The bottom, the downstairs, like you get down the hallway and like you're halfway down the stairs when your turn ends. Okay. Um, now it is Gil's turn again. Ugh. Um, we we're so close. Yeah. We're in hit and rain. He uh, grabs his long sword and he like twirls it in his hand and swings it at you, Ren. God damn it. He has a little flare on it. Jesus. I know. Yeah. Uh, he gets you for uh, three damage. Okay. So he struck you again. I'm just a kid. <laughs> uh, Hemlock, it is now your turn. Okay, so is there anything else? Can I, is is there any use in like observing the room and seeing if there's anything else of use in here or anything else that might be of interest? I can if you if you make that your action. Because the pot's on the ground. Uh huh. Uh, some of the stuff's gooping. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, yeah. That's happening. I that. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> If you if if you want me to give you more information about this room that you can you can use you you'll need to read the situation. Okay, should I do that? Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. All right. So read a situation. So we've got best way in, best way out. Any dangers I haven't noticed? Biggest threat? Who or what is okay? Which one should I do? Because I don't think we're gonna be able to get out. Like you and I. Yeah. Probably not. Um. Should it be any dangers I haven't noticed? Or what's the best way out? <laughs> what do you guys think? 
Um, I don't know. Is it or is there anything I haven't noticed? Any dangers yeah. I haven't noticed? I like that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, so roll a roll a roll a d twenty. I mean, you still have to roll to see what happens. Ten. Okay. Uh, you. Okay. Yeah. You get. You get. You hold two. So, um, are there any dangers you haven't noticed? Yeah. Are there any dangers he hasn't noticed yet? Um, Those are knives that are precariously placed at the end of a counter. Mm, I'm trying to. Th- other other than the other than like the that glowing shadowy energy around Gil, like that's gotten way stronger, but otherwise no, there's, there's nothing else in this room. You've noticed that's like dangerous to you Hmm. now. Dangerous in general, it is like a kitchen. So it has like kitchen type stuff. There's like, I mean, there's what you would expect to find in a kitchen, probably in a, in a sorry state because of the, the the general like run downness of this building. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, probably you'd find like everything you would expect to find in a kitchen more or less. All right. Yeah, you have one other question you can ask. Um, God, I wish you'd just be like, "How do I kill the shadow?" Um, <laughs> uh, Isn't there one like what's most vulnerable to me? No, it's reading a so it's best way in, best way out. Danger I haven't noticed. Biggest threat: who or what is here is not as they appear, and what's about to happen. Okay. What's um, about to happen could be useful. I feel like I know what's about to happen. <laughs> I feel like the the thing's gonna burn to the ground, fall down, and then people are going to potentially die. But he's not playing that. He's not playing the song though. It's just gonna hurt people, probably. Um, maybe best way out. Yeah, best way out. I mean, there's the the best way out of this particular spot is oddly enough not the door because of just how you would have to leave this building you have to go all the way down the hall and all the way back the best way out is going to be through like the windows that are in this room um this this second floor kitchen has like windows on the side that are they're not full-size windows but if you like dove through it you could get out pretty quickly um and if you and you remember from earlier that like every one of the dorm rooms has a window in it um, there's probably a fire escape outside one of the windows that you're in, but that's 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 the best way out. Okay. Um, so that's your turn. Okay. Um, it is now Ren's turn. Can I? Uh, no, I was just. No, I'm thinking. <laughs> I was just looking at you when I was thinking. I made a face, and you yeah, it was the wrong time. No, it was. Um, can I grab me and Hemlock and just jump out the window that's closest? Or you'll provoke an attack of opportunity if you try to get to him and I grab him. Because my HP well, is too low. Why don't you just get yourself out? I haven't taken a hit yet. Oh, that's true. But it's still gonna. You'll still provoke an attack of opportunity if you try to step away Can't from Gil. You do it without. But it's I can do I it mean, by myself. Once it's your turn. Yeah, yeah you can get I yourself can, away. Yeah, I can disengage oh. eventually and yeah. do that. You can get yourself away. Yeah. God. Save yourself. I'm going to try and save myself, but I'm still open to attack. Okay. Um, so what do you want to try to do? I'm going to try and get out the window. That's okay. close. Um, as you uh, move to get to the window. He's all nah. Uh, he's all nah. And he. he Rah. Nah. He rolls to strike you and uh, he misses. So you, you get yeah. to the window and um, you're going to need to pop it open. So. Um, my hands don't work. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Um, how are you trying to open this window? I'm just trying to jimmy it open. Okay. As you're struggling to open this window, um, you're not you're not succeeding, <laughs> and I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> you used all the good rolls at the beginning. Do you have a plus to your wisdom saving throw? I mean, seriously. Let me see. Could I trade something in? Oh, you could. Can I phone a friend. Phone a friend for sure. <laughs> wisdom. It says eleven, but uh, no plus. Okay. Oh, there's no plus. Um, in the top. Do you want to spend something? Spend I think something. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm like dead. Yeah, we should use all of our shit because yeah. it's just gonna retool. I'm gonna patch it, it so yeah, you yeah, may as well yeah. burn it now. Burning it. <laughs> okay. So I roll again. Yeah. Seventeen. Oh damn. Hey. Okay. Um, you catch a glint of something coming very, very fast towards the window. Oh. Uh, oh, is it? And you, you. Nolan? You duck your head to the left um, as a 
as the glass shatters Hell and yeah. a crossbow bolt flies through the room with a string attached, yeah. uh, hits the ceiling and um, th- through the window like the Incredible Hulk. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way I can describe it. Um, leaps in Dell in her full battle garb. Okay. Oh. Um, hey, hey. She All lands and she's like, "You guys had one job," and then she shoots Gil with her uh, with her crossbow. What? Damn! She what? just comes in, makes it look fucking easy. Yeah, we could have used another set of hands on pushing the cauldron into the sink. It's your night for dishes, Dell. Um, and she gets him. Uh, she she shoots him like in the eye. Like oh, she gets whoa. a really good shot in on him. She's out for blood. Um, yeah, I, love it. I mean, Gil, I think I think it described Gil as having an eye patch. If I didn't, yeah. he has one now. <laughs> has an eye patch. Um, yeah, she she shot him. She's mad. Uh and Gil takes a step back and uh falls to the ground. Mm. Uh and then um she she kind of like steadies herself. Uh Salt, it is now your turn. Okay, I'm going to complete going down the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> I you, continue walking. You've successfully made it into the living room where everyone is partying. Uh, okay. the, 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 the stuff has not made it here yet, um, but you can hear, even through the sound of Chloe's music, a slight sizzling noise. Does Chloe have a mic? He or should. A megaphone? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head for Chloe to try to shut off the music and yell at the peoples. Okay. Um, you get to you get to Clo, and, and he's like, "Salt, so, so what's 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 up? What's going on?" Um, I need you to turn that shit off, <laughs> like right now. Uh, uh, I'll fucking kill you. Okay. Um. Okay. He presses the. I love like, how JoJo very, looks like he's very very, very, very reluctantly. He 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 turns the he, he turns the fader down, and he's like, "Hey guys, uh." Listen, I know the I know that you really like the tunes, but uh, we need to have a quick little word from my my good friend uh, Salt. Salt, uh, go ahead and, and say what you need to say. Woo! Get the <laughs> fuck out! The building's coming down. Get the fuck out! You're gonna die! Die! They're like, oh, I love metal. Make a persuasion <laughs> check, please. Oh, no. I have I have uh, persuasion's my my specialty, and I got a nineteen. Oh hell yeah! Uh, and they're like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no. Um, okay. And um, they they move to the door to to go through it, and uh Uh-oh. the doors are locked. Oh, oh, there's enough of sake. you. Just use your fucking weight. And- well, now there's there's a bit of panic because they realize the oh, doors no. are locked. Oh no. Um, go out the window, you dipshits. Okay. We'll get we'll resolve that in a second. <laughs> Back on floor two, where the oh parties God. just won't stop. I hate high school it. students. The worst. Uh, Gil um, stands up and is like, uh, "I'm, I'm really shocked that uh, that I'm still okay standing, uh, and I got really bad news for you guys. Uh, you, you, you hurt me pretty good, but I'm really not the problem here." And he reaches up and he grabs the bolt it that's gross. in his head. And as he pulls it out, uh, um, something drags with it, and uh, out of the wound comes okay. that spectral form. Oh shit! And the bolt was stuck in it. Um, so it got damaged a little bit, maybe. Well, it's it's now out of Gill, and that the 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 spectral form reaches up also and grabs the bolt and pulls it out and drops it with its like claw like fingers. Um, and now that is in the room with you, and you guys can all see it. Yeah. Um, so it is now, uh, that was Gil's turn. Is Gil bad still? And that spectral creature is going to go and move to attack Hemlock. Oh, thank God. It just zips I mean, not thank God. <laughs> I'm it just edge. zips towards you at, oh, God. at high <laughs> speed. This is some DBZ shit. Um. It misses you. Um, you're able to dodge out of the way as I sidestep. It's just as this horrific this claw clip. comes past. <laughs> um, he- the Akuma thing from Street Fighter, where it's like doo, 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 doo. Hemlock. It is now your turn. Uh, can we damage the thing? The spectral form is it? Is it corporeal? Uh, I mean, I can't give you that information. I'm gonna guess probably. I'm gonna guess maybe, but it's probably gonna take some finessing. 
um, like some holy shit. Mm, or some magic shit. Well, yeah. If only we had a cleric. I know. Well, no, so <laughs> I have a bow and arrow. Am I anywhere near Dell? Uh, I mean, no, you're not. Okay. But I mean, like you're on the other side. Of the, I mean, like, what do you want to do? Well, I want her to well, bless our weapons. Dell's not a cleric. Oh, she's not? No. Oh. <laughs> that was Dolan. Too Dolan's good. a, cl- a cleric Dolan. and Dolan is dead. Oh. So. Well, I wish the spirit of Dolan would help us right now. That's he won't. So oh. what do you want to do? <laughs> um, I want to, I need to, well, I'm going to put some distance between myself and I'm going to use my, uh, Bow and arrow, and just see. I'll I'll take the shot and see what it does if it actually hits him. Okay. Um, I want to move towards because uh, do because uh, Dell and Ren are nearby each other. Because yes. you were by the you the dream. Hey, well, I want to be there too. Shut up. <laughs> you, you were by the window, so I want to move towards their direction. Okay, so you um to regroup. You 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 uh, scramble around the table. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and you are now on the other side of the table where they are. Um, you are going to take a shot at it. Yeah, I want to see. So what go the ahead. Shot does so roll roll the roll the hit it. Fifteen. Okay. Um, you shoot an arrow at it, mm. and it definitely connects. And you can you can tell like the the form sort of shimmers as you hit it. Um, but it it doesn't look like it does that. Like it does one point of damage. Oh no. Like okay. wait, would it have done more if the situation were different? Like if it was a regular person, what do you mean? Like, did it do one point of damage because it's a shadow monster or did I just happen to hit it for one point it, of damage? It's, it, it's just did one point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> that attack was successful. It did one point of damage. Uh. Um, Ren, it is now your turn. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> I have an idea to play that song to see if it affects that spectral creature, like it affects people, but I have a feeling that it's not going to. Try it. So I'm going to try it. Yeah. Okay. Three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm gonna give you, you a different thing to roll. You in. die. <laughs> you, qui- you quickly start strumming out that song and um, the, the creature sort of, you can tell it's like reacting to it and it, and you notice two things. You notice that uh, as you are as you are playing the song, the the creature starts charging towards you. Okay. Because it does not like it. Yeah. Or it does not like you playing it for some mm. reason. Oh. He's like, it's okay. not the way it's supposed to be played. But you also notice that um, that something is uh, glowing on the edge of the counter, mm. um, like closer to the sink, and you realize that it's that book that Gil had the oh. first time. Oh. oh. I forgot there was a book in the room, too. So mm. did I. So uh, what do you guys want to do? I mean, you, you, it's, it's coming right at you. It's charging towards I, you. Yes. I'm going to go for the book? Well, you're, uh, like, you can tell Del to do it. Your turn's over. Del, baby, go for the book. She's like, what? <laughs> it's like, what? Are you- Fine. And then uh, she, she's, she, uh, Hearing that, Dell looks and sees the book, and um, she m- moves towards it, and she uh, grabs it. And as soon as she tries to grab it, she recoils her hand in pain. Um, so for some reason, she can't touch it. Um, and she takes uh, two points of damage. Oh, reading is bad. It. She's <laughs> basically like the book shocked her. Yeah, not rub your car- your socks on the carpet when you try and grab a book. So now, uh, Salt, um, you, it's back to you in the in the ground floor as everyone is trapped, freaking out. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm opening windows and being like, get the fuck out the windows, dipshits. Okay. Uh, I mean, get the fuck out the window, the dipshits. The dipshits? Gen- Genuine's the dipshits. like, this is a really great battle, huh, Salt? You're doing a really good job. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Where's that evil Salt that I was talking? Anyway, I'm going to just go over here. Uh, okay, I'm going to say that after that, y- the people are starting to get okay, out of the building. I'm going to go back up yep. when I have a chance. Um, it is now back to Gil's turn. Uh, Gil steadies himself back up, and he sees that Dell was trying to go for the book, and now he rushes to try to get the book. Oh, yeah. um, and he takes a strike at Dell. Dell. Um, he moves to try to hit her, and she just blocks it with her crossbow. Yeah. She, like, parries That's it. That's my girl. Love her more. Every- um, okay. However, <laughs> the, si- the the creature gets to you, Ren. Oh, oh God. Uh, and it manages to grab you around the throat. Oh. Whoa. Hey. And a little space. 
I yell out, I have Corona. Does four, <laughs> don't say that. We can't look at Demontis. I'm sorry. Does four, <laughs> does, uh, does three damage to you. Okay. I'm at uh, three left. Yeah. So you are, you are hurting. Critical. Yep. Uh, but now it is your turn. It basically like scratched at your throat and you basically felt like the, it's, tenderly claw-like hand like pass through you and it yeah. really fucking hurts oh yeah <laughs> um, so uh now what do you want zima it's awful yeah i have a question is anything happening with our weird hands while this is going on anything specific <sighs> yeah anything? i mean you or- you notice them you can see the i mean i didn't bring it up because it wasn't like pertinent but yeah like in the presence of this thing like you can see the holes in your hand pretty clearly <laughs> Just like this too, fuck. But there's, but like it doesn't. <laughs> but it's hurt. not gonna do. It's not. I mean, I, I mean, you, you, you know that it's there. It. I can tell you safely that like whatever meaning it holds is present just by the fact that you can see it right now. Okay. Um. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, actually, it's not your turn yet. You just got attacked. <sighs> Hemlock. What do you want to do? <laughs> All right. So Gil was running toward the book, and he hit Dell. Yes. Um. I. I mean, the book's the key right now. I'm going to go towards the book. Okay. Um, you get, uh, you you run up to the book. Um, as you move away from the creature, it swipes at you. Back off, man. It misses. Good. Um, you get to the where the book is and where where Dell is. Um, I use my whole hand to pick it up. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you move to pick it up, Dell's like, wait, and then you just pick it up without a problem. Oh, nice. Shit. Yeah. Um, so now you're holding the book and um, the, the creature kind of tilts its head confused. And then even Gil's like, what? And now you have the book. Sweet. Um, so I what do you want to do? Throw it out the window. I that's right that's what we school. call in Dungeon Mastering a free action. So throw what would you like to window. do? Throw it out the window. Um, well, so I'm curious if it's getting rid of the book or if it's like stabbing the book or if it's like burning the book. Yeah. Throw the book under the cauldron with the shit. Will that do anything to the book? I don't know, man. You okay. gotta do is there it. A fire? <laughs> is there a fire in this room? I mean, it's a kitchen. You could light it on fire. The the to. the cauldron was bubbling, so yeah, I'm gonna say that there was probably a fire on that counter. Okay. Um. Or that wherever he was cooking the cauldron. Well, because <laughs> I, I like feel punch. like it's either try it's and read the book like to get rid of it or burn the book. Well, reading uh is fundamental, but this doesn't seem like a nice stop to to like, wait, crack wait, wait, open wait. a book. <laughs> I got to read for a minute. I'm like, whose your book is this? Give me I'm, two weeks and a really <laughs> long bus commute. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just signing everyone's like end of the year something like, have fun in the sun, get laid in. What the are you gonna day. do, Hemlock? Love Hemlock. <laughs> See you next semester. Um, I'm gonna throw it in the fire. Okay. Um, make a ranged attack roll because you're not gonna be able to walk over to it. Thirteen. Okay, you toss the book onto the fire, uh, and it lands, and you can tell the it's starting to catch. And as soon as you do that, the uh, the creature um, starts like shuddering in immense pain, um, and it takes twelve points of damage. Whoa! Oh, also, people in real life don't burn books. Yeah, don't burn books. Yeah, this book, I mean, some this, some books. This book, however, is bad. What yeah. is this? Footloose. Uh, <laughs> burn books at the dam. Ren, it's now your turn. Am I still in the clutches of the creature? It's right next to you. Yeah, uh, you're not in the clutches. Me. I'm not. Well, I thought it had me by the neck. It, 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 it passed damaged. through. Like its hand passed through oh, you. Oh. That's what hurt you. Um, I'm going to attack. Um, fuck. Who's close to me? Gil's not next to The me. things that are close to you right now are the creature and the book cooking on the thing. Can you cook the book more? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Can you I... stab the book or, sh- or s- s- I don't know. Shred it. Shred. I don't know. Or just stab the monster thing. I don't know if it's weak enough for me well, to, because you only did one point of damage, yeah. but the book wasn't on fire then. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go for it with my rapier. Go ahead and make an attack <laughs> roll. Yeah. It does 800 damage. <laughs> 10. Uh, okay. Good. I'm back in the double digits. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> if you put a zero before every number, it's all double digits. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Um. This time you can tell the rapier connects with something Oof. as nice. you strike it, and you do five points of damage. Not bad, Emma. Um, I mean, dub. Renma. <laughs> uh, Dell realizing um what is happening um she uh puts a special bolt into her crossbow oh yeah 
Oh, and uh, fires it at Gil. Oh, um, oh shit! Wow. She mad. Yeah. And she man at when the bolt fires, um, it turns into like a like a bola, like it, so it's like oh, a sweet. It, oh, it basically yeah. like it erupts into like these two things, and it wraps around him and ties him up. Nice. Um, and he Ooh. falls to the ground. Well, I'm glad he's not an issue right now because I was worried about that. Um, <laughs> Salt, uh, you've made it up the stairs, and now you're running down the hallway. Okay. Um, that's it. Okay. <laughs> cool. I mean, you. I mean, d- don't get me wrong. Like, you made the right decision going downstairs to save everybody because everyone's getting out now. If that hadn't occurred, you would have been you a little, much the more first trouble. Boss. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, you did a lot this app. Uh, Gil struggles with the rope that he's in, but he can't get out. Um, the creature, uh, realizing that the book is in danger, reaches to try to grab it. You know, he's gonna burn his little fingies. Um, <laughs> his little spectral. He, uh, he's not able to get it, and he shudders in agony. <laughs> he takes uh, two points of damage from just the the book crackling. We it is now crackers, chocolate. And- it is now Hemlock's turn. Right. Hemlock, the book is is pretty much almost caught on fire. Um, okay, I'm going to take a shot at the spectral creature again. Okay. Um, with what? Just um, shoot him? I shoot him. Okay. I shoot um, him. Wait, wait. Let's has the most damage. Hold on. Because he's not like worried about me right now. He's trying to get the book. Yeah. Uh, my rape here has the most damage. It's a 1d8. Okay. So I will, I will run up, pull my swords out, poke him in the butt. All right. Roll a d20 to, to strike him. Uh, 16. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> How hard did I poke him in the butt? Four. You poked him for four in the butt. <laughs> oh, four pokes Ooh. in the butt. He's hurt. I mean, he's 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 way past bloodied. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Um, it is now Ren's turn. Ren. End I'm gonna it. finish him off. Yeah, kill him. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you gotta stop saying One. things before you roll. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Uh, popularity <laughs> throw it all in <laughs> all right. it. Yeah, you can, it. yeah you can burn a popularity you show him your yearbook photo nine uh, okay that's better. at least you didn't yeah so so yeah. by burning your popularity what happens is uh, uh the, in the fiction what happens is as you move to strike it uh dell quickly fires a shot <laughs> that's, that's the act of you spending your popularity uh, um, I don't even she gets a free shot nice. uh, nice. uh she manages to hit it and as you stab it for some damage i'm not yeah. gonna roll because its yeah. health is very low you spank it with the side um, of your I'm like, yeah <laughs> he, he stop. A spoon um and as it, you strike it it starts to shudder um and vibrate like like it's uh like it's just vibrating itself a, like apart basically yeah um, and as it starts to vibrate apart, you notice that the, uh, the book that was sitting there, um, f- like fully erupts in flame, except now it's not, um, it's not the f- flame flame. It's like, like a purplish black flame. Ooh. Um, flame candle. And it fully engulfs the book and, um, it quickly cooks it away. And then as that happens, that creature sort of like, dissolves yeah. and just just it falls apart like like if you shattered a mirror like just pieces of it are falling off and as they hit the ground they just sort of vanish yeah that's good right that's very good that's pretty good it was we worth it. my pop yes yeah. i'm sorry and yeah. gil when uh when gil notices this he he kind of like he stops struggling and he sees that the book's gone and then he kind of like writes himself so he's sitting and he's like huh <laughs> well I guess you've solved my cauldron puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of that from now on. <laughs> um, yeah, but... We Can I come get, back in the room and decapitate him? We got to get the fuck out of this room that we have to do. Oh, uh, yeah. Why? I mean, that's, that's, that potion-y stuff is still definitely filling the thing. Um, right. <laughs> uh, Can we Del, we're all gone. You Del, run grab, back in. Del grabs Gil, who is tied up, and lifts him. Oh, damn. And she's He's like, so let's strong. leave his ass. She's like, we should probably get out of here. Somebody she, draw Del before any of us. She moves uh, uh, She <laughs> she moves to the, the broken window and pops it open and tosses Gil out in the fire escape. <laughs> She climbs out herself. Um, do you guys follow her? Yeah, let's follow her. Yeah. Okay. I know you get back and you're like, I'm ready to fight. I'm like, I'm here. 
<laughs> and we're like, we gotta go. Like, there's nothing. There's no. Genuine's one. like, that was excellent. <laughs> Deuces, and he <laughs> leaves. He doesn't have to, but he makes sure to go through the fire escape before he. <laughs> you absolute <laughs> asshole. So he was just watching our fight the whole. Oh yeah, time. he was. It was way more interesting <laughs> than watching her run downstairs. At the table, just like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Next? Some Bugs Bunny action from him. <laughs> and you guys uh, get down to the um, down to the yard. And by the time you guys get out, all the kids are standing on the yard as well. And the building, that stuff that was melting into the floor, you can kind of guess that it's probably spread to different parts of that floor because you hear like crashing, like you hear like the roof starting to collapse. Ooh, we got out right in time. Um, and the that that. After after a couple of seconds, like you you he, you hear like a large crash, and then like smoke starts coming out of the out of the room. Is it just like fire smoke, or is it to- the bad smoke? Just fire smoke, oh, like phew. destruction the good smoke. smoke, not the, the bad and, smoke. And everyone's standing out there, kind of just staring at it, like, "Whoa, that was a close one." Um, Chloe looks really depressed because all the stuff is still in oh, there. No. Oh, he's never gonna get his like, deposit oh. back. Oh. He even says that. He's like, I'm not going to get my deposit back. <laughs> oh, buddy. Damn it. Well, at least I didn't get crushed by roof. That yeah. would have sucked. Sound happy. Always look on um, the bright side. All the, all the reds are uh, the, the reds that are remaining. Like everyone got out, but they're all just kind of looking at like the destroyed building that they were. That was where they lived. And now it's gone. Aww. It's all fucked I don't up. I feel that bad for him. Yeah. Well, um, hey, guys, guess what? You were going to be in there. Oh, did yeah. the passed out lady with the dicks? She's fine. Face? Yeah, okay. she's yeah. Cool, yeah. Cool. Everyone got her out. Damn it. <laughs> Dicks are still there, hopefully, right? Dicks are still there? Gil's kind of like, he, he seems like almost in shock at everything that's happening. He kind of stands up to his full height. Del's still got like a crossbow trained on him. Okay. And he goes, um, well, I guess that uh, just about sums it up. Uh, he turns to you three and he goes, uh, if I may ask, um, was there any particular reason you decided to uh you know come by and screw up my awesome party because uh super rude we're fucking smarter than you dipshit do you not know what was happening what was happening he was possessed he was possessed oh, okay that's a sad ass excuse i don't believe that for a second give him to me i might kill him Oh, uh, we got to keep him alive uh, we, for the sheriff. Yeah, so the we sheriff. Can hear our name. That's can I, right. But he doesn't remember anything. Okay, okay, well, well, c- can I shave his head or? Yes. Yeah. Take off his pants. No. Nah, well, 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 when you say on. when you let's say sheriff, the... when you say sheriff, that kind of catches his ear, and he's like, "Tell the sheriff what." Meanwhile, I've got his hair in my hand. I was like, like "Come uh, with some knife. <laughs> Gil, do you know what happened to Doan? I know that. I went and saw him a few days ago on the roof. Lies! And I cut off his hair. <laughs> Dang it. That was a sweet do I had. You throw it in his I face. just got <laughs> it to where I wanted it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all he says. Okay. So he doesn't remember it. He doesn't anything. know anything. Is there anybody we know who can, like, clairvoy him? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, and then Del's like, uh, Del looks and sees that he has, um, he, looking at, like, his, uh, he has, like, um, he has like a sash on um, and sitting on that sash is a, a small pin and um, Hemlock, you recognize the pin because it's the same kind of pin that Dell has. Oh, what the fuck? Um, and he goes, uh, uh, Gil's like, yeah, uh, this is going to sound very strange, but uh, I don't, I don't really, you, you may want to take a look at this, this pin that I'm wearing, uh, Doan made uh, a few of these several years ago. Um, we were we uh, I was just, I was uh, a little higher than him in years, but we were, you know, we knew each other, and he you, gave me one of these. They they record short clips and videos and things. I leave mine on uh, all the time. Um, you can take a look at it if you want. Yeah, I want to I want to take it can and I, let's look at it. Let me can I grab it first. Why do you want to grab it first? Because it's it's sharp, right? It's pointy. Yeah, I mean it's sharp and pointy. I smack her it's hand away. I, I don't know, know why you're grabbing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I smack her hand away during. And I grab wait, it. wait, wait! I know how to make him remember. And then I take the pin and I shove it back into him without, like, with just the sharp end. Just eh. 
holding on to his flesh. Any particular reason? Fun. Okay, well, you do that, and he goes, "Ow!" Okay. I mean, it doesn't really hurt him. He's a pretty, he's a, he's a he's pretty a sturdy dude. boy. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna hurt him with a pin. Um, this whole time, hurt? double over, just bleeding. I found out. his sensitive yeah. spot. It, it does, like, hit that's it right not there. a million percent necessary. Okay. Um, but yeah, now you you have the pin. Um, Make she it. presses a button on it, um, and as she presses the pin, uh, just like before, it when when Hemlock visited Dell and she showed you her pin, um. It's it. This is Gil's pen, um, and just like with uh, Dell's pen, it starts off with a small message from Dylan, and it says, uh, "Gil, hey bud, just want to say uh, it was really cool hanging out with you this summer. Um, camp would have sucked if you weren't around. So here you go, my man." And then uh, and then it starts cycling through different scenes. Um, some are a little longer than others. Some are shorter. Um, all, all of them, however, are from the perspective of, of whoever's the pin itself. So like you just see whatever the pin was facing. So you see like, y- you see, uh, Gil walking down the street. Um, you see him hanging out with Naylor. You see a few scenes of teachers or officials from Spring Willow coming by and, and are upset at him for some reason. And then they leave and he slams the door of what you can assume is the building you were just in. Um, and it cycles more and more. And then you see you see a few videos of him kind of like having a conversation of some sort with, with the other kids who are listening to him and he throws down a bunch of red bandanas. You just see a bunch of red bandanas land and they all start to like pick them up. Um, and then it keeps cycling faster and faster until finally it gets to... Uh, a scene that you guys are in and you can see yourselves. That's me. Um, because it's the scene from the BMX quarry. Um, but you see it from an angle you would never, you couldn't imagine it because you see the three of you far off and you see Doan up close and he's still alive. And then from what you can gather, this is the part where you first notice the, the holes in your hands. Um, when it happened to you, you just you were just clenched up in, in agony. But now you actually see what happened from another angle. And the three of you are literally engulfed in a purple and black flame. It surrounds you entirely. Um, however, after a few seconds, that flame just dissipates and is gone. You all look like you're struggling to stay standing, but you are managed to stay standing. All of you take notice of your hands and then you fall over. And that's probably where you fell unconscious. And then Doan, looking back at that, he then looks forward at the camera and he's like, that's not how it was supposed to happen. And then in the same way, uh, Doan is also erupted in that bl- uh, purple black flame and um having lived through that you guys recall like it was probably the worst pain he probably ever experienced um and he feels that for a second and then after that second you can tell he just doesn't feel anything Aww. and he collapses onto the ground and the pin plays a few seconds of him like on the ground and you guys on the ground. And then he starts walking away. And in fact, the only thing that the pin doesn't actually show other than the proof that you guys didn't do anything is that it does not show Gil in any way. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the pin shuts off and Gil says, when I got home that night, I, I checked cause I was missing some time. And I saw that, and I, I didn't understand. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna keep this. Yeah, I guess I guess that'd be right. Yeah. yeah. Um, why were you going? Why Why did you throw the party then? Were you aware of what you were? What was going on, my dude? Well, I mean. I don't really want to get into it. And he just kind of sits down. So this is, this is what I'm going to pose to you guys. You now have proof that, uh, that you didn't do it, which is what you needed. Um, and you also, uh, 
you all you have proof that um you didn't do it and you also have gil caught so this is what i'm going to pose to you and this will end with um i'm assuming that you're going to go and give this to the proper authorities the next day because that'll that'll resolve the current problem with you the real question is are you going to tell them that it was gil who had the pen <laughs>